Hello everyone, welcome back to Sherbert Land. Episode 11. Episode 11, where we got double same digits. One more and someone hits the jackpot. Because it's, like it's like a slot machine. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No. Video games gave me high hopes for slot machines being these awesome things you could totally cheat. Little did I know that in real life they're made so you're not supposed to win. You're not supposed nope. to find you're not supposed to find out the secret timing to hit A three times and always get a seven seven seven. There's huh. there's ways. I saw machines, but you can play that stacker game. As a kid, what St stacker? It, it was like Oh the super stacker, and yeah! And then we got to the very top, it's like impossible. To uh, get. I literally saw my friend win once. Yes, but you know how it works, right? How? It's um, impossible to win until a certain amount of money is oh. won, and then, and then, if the amount of money is the right amount, then they'll let it win. So oh. if they have enough to then purchase another thing that's in it, then they'll let someone win. Oh, yeah. So, so it's kind of against it that way. Yeah, for sure. All those things are cheating. Like, <laughs> like they they cheat against you. Video games made me think gambling was this like amazing thing that you could use to get rich quick when you know how to do when you have the skill yeah, yeah. but it's not no no <laughs> no i mean i've i've spent hours in the pokemon game corner trying to get porygon because it was 9999 coins in the originals i think also uh fire red leaf green that sucked so i actually would like learn to play the system and like learn to get the best get it all the time um yeah, no, it doesn't work in real life. There's so many things. Also, they're like they never have the regular like three style ones anymore. No, like it's always five or even seven different yeah. ones, and you're like, there's no way I'll line up seven things. Stupid. Um, but enough about my gambling addiction. <laughs> how was uh how was our weeks? Uh, it was good. I um, met up with a friend I haven't talked to in about two years. Was that a good thing or a bad thing? It was a good thing. Because there's some, there's sometimes when you, when you're like, oh, this was a bad thing. Once you're out of there, you know. But I hung out with a bunch of other friends. Okay. I talked about for five hours straight. So nice, nice. Yep. That's good. I didn't think good. we'd do that, but we did. You did. That was nice. Um, other than that, I hate this weather. Oh, this weather sucks. As a kid, I'd love it because it's like perfect packing snow. Maybe like. I was cleaning off my car. See, I've, I've, I've literally never, as a kid, liked snow. No, because I don't even deflate. No, God, I hate, I I hate it because here's the thing: the one thing I can't stand is wet clothing. <laughs> so, as in, like, you're out there and you get like even like a little bit on your pants, and then like I'm done. I'm shutting down. I don't want to do this anymore. Or like, you're like bundle up, put on some snow pants. No, even with snow pants and everything, if one piece of snow gets into my gloves, boots, hats, anywhere that is on the inside of me, which it usually does, I hate it. Huh. I just, I feel gross, I feel, it I hate it. dries snow. eventually. Eventually? <laughs> and what if you're outside and have to do something? It's not like you'll dry out there in the cold while it's snowing. You won't dry, you'll never dry. You'll be wet and miserable until summer. Why don't you just, like, dive into that pool? Why don't you just, like, if you're a bit just embrace it. Just, like, I hate dive into the snow. I literally hate literally. everything about snow. <laughs> yeah, I do too nowadays. Yeah, it sucks. Like, but then parking it... on the side of the road, you're parked in, like, the middle of the road and oh, you feel yeah. bad. And... Yeah, for sure. What about you? Uh, what do you mean, what about me? You're weak. Did you did you play no games? Did you oh, not beat right. a very important <laughs> game that I've been telling you? Once you beat, you'll understand. I thought we were doing our like life stuff and then games, but no, just just finish up. I finished being at a one. Woo boy! How about that final boss? Holy shit! <laughs> right? It wasn't like mind blowing because I'm like, I, I did I, hype I, it I up a bit. Yeah, yeah. But it's like 
I don't know if I want to spoil it because like there's so many people who haven't finished it, played it yet. Let's just say it's really good. It's, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. And I'm I'm going back into the game to get all the collectibles. And... Yeah. Did you get the rocket launchers yet? Not yet. No. They're okay. So I I'm actually going through like the chapters. So I missed them on my uh, first time through because I got to I got to uh, the fourth uh, angel boss, mm. the one where you're surfing, which is awesome. <laughs> I um, love that one. But I was playing it, and I'm like, I should have the rocket launchers by now. So I looked, and yeah, it was the exact same time. I missed them the first time. You get them all in Chapter 9. Okay. So it's it's just there's one time. You know when when there's that one section where you'll see the ball, and it's like hitting this thing. It goes, do, 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 right? Um, but before that, there's like a little bridge that you like is like, like little pieces are coming out. And then there's like sections in between that you have to jump, like a light bridge. Mm. If you fall down, oh. then there's an item box down okay. there. So that's where it is. Uh, but then, yeah, no, I got the rocket launcher, which means now I can do the super broken thing, <laughs> which is do lightning legs into rocket launcher. And it's so ridiculous seeing the combo count go from five to nine, 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 <laughs> nine times nine, nine instantly. Jeez. And you're like, oh, it's so good. So yeah, I'm at that point of the game now where I'm actually like good. Yeah. You were right, like, just, like, enjoy the game on the first go, yeah. and then you'll get better. And, the, and you I'm, like, do, for I'm getting, sure. like, pure Platinums now, and yeah. it's, it's really fun, like, once you know, like, how to play the game. Yeah, for sure. No, that's that's why I love it, because it's very much... And that's the thing for all of Kamiya's games. I mean, aside from Okami, because that, that game is just long. Um, <laughs> it's just, like... The first time you play, and you get you get ranked, right? Like, yeah. like, and it, you it will. Feel, it demoralizes you when you yeah, get those no, stone for awards. sure. Like, well, like I, I played Beautiful Joe, and it's like you get you get um, D C B A or V, right? And like every time I was getting like like C's and B's, and B's are rated as bad. It says so. I'm like, <laughs> wow. But then you know, like once you get better, then you definitely start not only getting those better marks, but like you, then you go back and do the earlier ones and you rock it because you know what to do. Yeah, and that's that's definitely the thing with his games is it's all about uh, replay and learning to be better. Also started a second pro uh, second playthrough of hard mode with Ooh, uh, Peach's yeah. uh, uh, Peach's costume. Yep, and it is difficult. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Wait, so did you do new game plus or just a new game? Oh, I don't know. I think I just did new game. Oh, so you're not starting with any of your equipment? Yeah, I didn't know there was a new game plus. Well, it's not new game plus. You can just go back to the oh, first stage, yeah, yeah. and then does, does it count as the same thing? Well, then you just go change the difficulty. Like if I were to beat all those chapters again on hard mode, it would... you would not get the unlockables on your main file. Okay, so I would have to like start a new game completely then. Yes. So, so what I would say is go back to your first profile. And replay the levels that you did on hard, but now with everything that you got. Okay. Because then, yeah, the way it works is it's like, it says, you know, beat this game on, you know, hard to unlock this thing. You don't have to start a new game. You just go back to the levels at the beginning and now play them on hard. Mm. And you will unlock, a, like, by the end, you'll have a lot of new stuff. Okay. So. Well, I want to get all the collectibles first, and then I'll do the hard mode. Yeah. And then I'll do the hard mode new. And Well, you don't have to do that. You don't have to make a new game. Well, to get the unlockable character, I do. That's no, what you said. No. Yeah, you said if I do the new game. Well, no, by new game, I mean just go back to the beginning and replay it. Chapter select on your main file. Yeah. Go back to the beginning I said, and play like, it on do hard. Do I have to, can I just play the chapters on hard and it'll count as a hard mode and I'll get the character? And you said no. Wait, what? No, I'm, no I, I didn't remember answering that question because the answer <laughs> is definitely you can just re redo them on hard. Oh. Yeah. Huh. I did, well, you said no. Oh, I well. I swear. Weird. Um, Other than that, Friday was a big day for me. Yes, I've heard. I've seen. Um, on well, I didn't pick up Kirby because yes. I need. I just I'm not going to play that right now. Fair <laughs> enough. That's fair such enough. Such a backlog. But I did pick up Burnout Paradise Remastered. Oh, there and you go. It is everything and more. Nice. It's it's Burnout Paradise. It's an amazing game. It's incredibly fun. Please play this game. Me? Not you. Okay. Good. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> It's I mean, not like, for me. Talking to everyone who's listening. Okay. If you like Hot Wheels and a big giant playground just to like smash cars and just do a bunch of challenges online. Like there's, I was playing online with one of my friends, Colton. Yes. This morning. He got the game too. And I forgot that there's about 700 challenges online that you can just do like, go here, do this and like crash here and 
do near misses there, and it's like endless, endless, endless fun. Okay. And like buy this game so they make another burnout. I'll wait for the Vita port. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> or the Switch port. That could happen. Could it could? Um, other than that. Uh, that's why I didn't say switch port because there's a chance there's no way it's getting a veto port <laughs> um, other than that I think that's about it yeah Just okay two games fair enough I feel like that's a decent no, amount now what I've been watching is I finally finished Iron Fist okay so you're and you're released I am released from this from terrible curse. terrible TV show okay there was a I don't know in one of the episodes Ward it's one of the characters. His acting. Wait, like Grant Ward? No, no. It's like another Ward. Wow, that sucks. It's almost like having two characters <laughs> named Ross in a Marvel series. <laughs> Hi, hey. But they're brothers, which makes sense. Wait, what? Yeah. Everett and Thunderbolt are related. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought they were completely they're brothers. unrelated. Oh, well. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, yeah. I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, but... Um... There was a line delivery that made me... <laughs> you have to search it up now. I'm searching this up. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing some fact-checking. You keep talking. In one of the episodes, uh, Danny Rand, Darn Fist, walks into the building. And he's like, where's this guy? And Ward killed him. And he's like trying to just pretend it wasn't him. And he's like, what do you mean? <laughs> and the line delivery was terrible. I just want you to know I accidentally wrote Thunderbolt Everett Rosa. <laughs> And it gave me some weird stuff that I didn't want. Um, Here we go. Is Everett Ross related to Thunderbolt Ross? They aren't related in the comics and there's nothing to indicate they're related in the films. I swear I saw somewhere that they are. In the comics, there's never even a suggestion that they're related. It's never there. Really? Nope. I swear it was Because here's the thing. Because I remember hearing like how... Because I remember reading a thing. It's called... So movies have a thing called the one Steve limit. Have you heard of the one Steve limit? No. If there's a person named Steve in a movie, there will literally be no one else on earth named Steve in that movie <laughs> universe to make sure there's no confusion. So I've heard that the Marvel universe is one of the big ones that averts that because there is literally Everett and Thunderbolt Ross who are completely unrelated but share a name. So that's why like, why when you said they're related, I'm like, that goes against what I heard. <laughs> so fair enough. Okay. I guess I was wrong. Um, those are the, like the same thing in uh, Walking Dead. Um, there was a character in Alexandria who was uh, uh, yep. Deanna Monroe, and then Jesus, who was uh, Jesus Monroe. It was in the comics, okay, but they changed that obviously in the show. Yeah, because they obviously didn't it's want. Like, oh, are they related? It's like to get all that out of there. Yeah, because in in the real world, there are lots of people who sh- you know share yeah. last. Yeah, it's, but they yeah. But Iron Fist. Um, the episode 9 to 13. Yeah. It just fell. <laughs> I just lost interest completely. I was like on my phone the whole time. And I mean like I, there was a there's a, another villain in the show that was like kind of interesting. Look, way, way more interesting than the main villain. Who like, is the main villain? Uh, What's his his comic Harold, book name? Harold Meacham. Okay. But another villain, Bakudo, which was wasn't like Amazing, but it was better. Okay. And Harold, uh, Bakuda was like the one of those like kung fu villains. Okay. Whereas Harold was more of the businessman villain. That's definitely what you need in a movie in a show called Iron Fist. So yeah, and it was just at the end, I didn't care about anyone who died, <laughs> and it's like just get this shit out of my face. So what's next then? Is it uh, Defenders? Defenders. Yeah. Okay, because we watched Luke Cage, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna be looking forward to that one. Seeing everyone together fighting maybe. see iron fist done better yeah yeah seen daredevil again yeah and no that, gonna be it's... honest i have not watched those and i've watched a bit and i'm just like i don't know something about it i just i don't get super into it's like it's a, it's more on the serious side and, and that's like that's like character a, drama and all that that's what gets it for me where i'm just like oh my god just put on your superhero suit and fight that's already like character drama that those type of shows and Fair enough. After Defenders is Punisher, which is what I'm looking really See, that's to. this is why I love, like, Common Rider, because you have <laughs> character drama, and how do they solve it? By putting on a dumb plastic toy <laughs> on, their, on their belt, and then they're like, I've come up with a new form. I'm like a time video game god. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I prefer that. Fair enough. Um, 
other than that, uh, I think that's about it for my week. Okay, fair enough. Um, I've been... All week I pretty much was teaching, so there's a lot of teaching stuff there. So not super much for games, but um, I've been cranking out content for uh, Digimon for on the uh, Hacker's Memory PS4. The game's really good. It also has one of the funniest things I've ever read in a thing based on a children's property where at one point one of the characters says trust me i'm a thespian of the arts and then agumon says thespian but i thought you liked guys <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like oh my god the writing the writing in that game ranges from some of the funniest stuff i've ever read to oh my god the translators were literally drunk that day <laughs> and it's so it's so good um Besides that, um, I've I have been playing. I actually I took a break from Monster Hunter for a little bit, but I hopped in a bit a little more recently. Um, boy, farming that final boss is a long thing to do. It's not difficult, but it's just like time consuming. Uh, time consuming. Yeah, yeah it's, that thing is a big damage sponge. Um, there's an event right now, an event quest where you get extra rewards for beating him. So that's oh, nice. Okay. That's but right. it's still like I all I need is his horn. And the only way to get the horn is to break his horn. This is oh. a giant monster. You are very rarely by its head. <laughs> so that's been fun. I just need one more and then I complete its entire set. And then I, I have its weapon all maxed out too. So like I'm good nice. to go uh, for Devil Joe because he's going to be weak to uh, to uh, Dragon Element. Okay. So I'm using Dragon Element on that. So um, I did get a download code from Tecmo Koei. Thank you, Tecmo Koei. Uh, for Attack on Titan 2 for the Switch. Yeah, I saw that. Um, which, that game r- looks a little iffy at times because you can very clearly tell that it's running a downgraded version of the PS4 version. But it runs really well. It plays really well. And it's fun. Uh, so I did the one video on it and I'll probably play it more on my trip to Montana because I'm not going to be driving. Uh, I'm not going to play a Switch while driving. That's irresponsible. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> that and I did download Kirby to play. Uh, oh, you downloaded it? I you did, yes, it? because I could not find it anywhere. That's weird. It's gone huh. everywhere. You um, think they like mass produced that game. Even like Best Buy, Amazon, all the websites. No way. They're like, there was one on Amazon left and it said you'll get it in one to two months. Best Buy, sold out. Uh, ebgames.ca, sold out. So I, I really wonder why. Like, I, it's weird, right? So um, I've heard people say that it's just a game that, like, uh, they printed in... They did one smaller batch, and then they're going to do a second batch later. Yeah, I can um, see that. But still, it's like, I, I mean, I'm going to be gone for a week, so I need the game now, mm-hmm. pretty much. So I said, whatever. I'll get Nintendo points for it. So... I got it. I think I have about a thousand Nintendo gold coins right it's about now. Ten dollars. So yeah, it's ten bucks. Yeah. I could get a ten dollar game for free, which is really cool. Um, I like that system a lot, actually. That's a it, uh, that's a better exchange rate than literally any other game reward system it, I've ever seen. If you look at it more as a discount thing than the buying game thing, it's, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. It's like way better. Yeah, no. Uh, like if you look at it, like yeah, you're not gonna buy a full eighty dollar game off of that. No. But you can either use it for a discount or get a free indie game, pretty much. Yeah. Right. So like that's cool. Um. Anything else? I'm not watching anything. Um. Not particular. I. I mean, I watched a few anime episodes of stuff, but nothing too spectacular. I'm still watching Pop Team Epic. That's. <laughs> madness um <laughs> in a recent episode on the first watch it's like an entirely unrelated show and then it's does like the bait and switch at the end and they're there uh for the because you know it's not the same you know because then in the second showing then they do it with the male voices instead yeah. um instead because there would be no male voices there is a guy doing a youtube reaction video oh. in the <laughs> corner and describing it as it goes on and it's the funny and he's wearing like a fake must it's great um <laughs> Oh, I was so I did my let's play of the card capture game for PS One, and I've been watching the show uh, dubbed because I like dub stuff. I know controversial opinion, um, but there was a weird episode where it said at the start, "This episode features undubbed content. We have now uh, subbed it for you instead." 
I'm like, that's weird for uh, to be watching a thing called a, the dub and saying there was some undubbed parts <laughs> that we have now subtitled. So I'm watching it, and it's like, whatever, it's going totally normal. But then, once a uh, potentially controversial couple lines come up, complete silence, but subtitles there. And I'm, like, and I'm like, it's weird. Huh. So apparently, even though they said the show was uncut from the original like Japanese broadcast, it was because they didn't want to bring up scenes because this is a show featuring fourth graders, uh, scenes where they confess their crush to ad- on adults, which is like, I feel, I don't feel there's a problem with like younger kids saying they have a crush on older people. That's normal. When you're young you would like that's fine but they didn't dub those and instead had the characters sitting in silence but the service i'm watching on decided okay well that's weird we're gonna subtitle it but it's the weirdest thing i've ever seen huh so yeah it's uh strange to say the least but uh apparently that's like the only change in the whole show just this one episode just this one time so why are you turning yeah, on phone? That's weird. What are you doing? It does this. I'll have it up and it will just turn on. It's technology, man. It's learning. It's like learning. With that, uh, that Amazon Alexa. Alexa like laughing. laughing. That's, okay. that's creepy. So when, when I first heard it's laughing, I expected it to be like, ha 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 ha. Like a real like, like chortly laugh. But I listened to the videos and it's, and it's like, ha ha. It's demonic. It's scary. And there's multiple different ones. And there's ones that are like clearly like it this text to speech laughing and ones that are like a recording of a person. And I'm like, why? It makes me think like it, it was like just prank. It was a prank because it like happened to a bunch of people on one day. I, at the same time, it could have just learned. No, <laughs> no, I didn't. It didn't learn. It didn't learn. It's not that smart. I think what it is is one sneaky programmer at Amazon put in a timer on a secret feature that says if it picks up a sound or like a certain a certain register of voice or something, it will do it as like a thing. But it's like, it's still so. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it's anything malicious. Just like the the phone calls with the I was gonna the alpha beta Charlie. It, it's it could it's could easily be fake but it's so much more fun to think it's like i just think conspiracy it's conspiracy thing well i i'm pretty like what i just think it is i don't think it's any alien robot none of that i like it's probably just uh someone said it's a call sign for a airplane going down i think it's just they went on the wrong call signature they went on a call signature they got picked up by someone's phone and because of course um you can't translate um the symbols like if you get a text to a landline it will read it out to you it's just reading out the call signals yeah so it reminds reminded me of uh, oxen free a lot okay like, yeah on the radio thing fair enough fair thing. enough i'm such a non-believer in conspiracy though really? you, like, like like i know i know it's silly to like believe in it like 100 but it's like so, like like it's so fun to like like let, let think me be it's clear real, you know I believe in aliens, 100%. Oh, yeah, it's like, no way. There's no way there's not. <laughs> but I love how people are going to be listening to this going, wait, what? <laughs> but no, it's like, but, but when it comes to like come some conspiracy theory stuff, like the Illuminati and the Freemasons and like like secret societies, it, it all, well, but, there, but there, there's think... a video, there's a video <laughs> of, of uh, the guys from My Brother, My Brother and Me, and they find a phone number labeled the Knights Templar, and they call it, <laughs> and and they're like, hello, is this the Knights Templar? And they're like, yes, it is. How may I help you? And he's like, I want the phone with a secret society. And then he's like, how can I go about joining? And they're like, oh, yeah. Um, can you, uh, you have to have a, a, a membership with the Freemasons first. Uh, well, we can send you the details if you'd like. Would you like us to transfer you to a Freemason sign up? <laughs> and they're like, sure thank you and he's like i am literally on the phone with the guys who know where the holy grail is so it's like <laughs> i i feel like all those secret societies are just a bunch of old people who made up a thing and the rumors got out of hand and now like the illuminati probably just played like golf with each other <laughs> like they're just a exclusive club for old people but it's the thought of like we don't we know so little as compared to some people on but this we'll, planet. But we'll never know. So Still, why bother caring? I don't know, because it's fun. I'd rather wake up each morning thinking about, like... You would rather have a boring, like, monotone life. Than... I play Smash Bros. What boring, monotone <laughs> life do I have? 
Just think about the now. Just think about think what, about video games. But what about the what if? Isn't but, that yeah, more interesting? What if whales can talk? Maybe they can. But what if they can? What would <laughs> how would society change? You'd be out on your boat and you'd be like, "Hi, Phil," and you'd be like, "Oh, <laughs> it's like a, there's no difference. It's no difference. Society wouldn't change. We're set. We're on a set path to destruction." Thanks, Trump. <laughs> okay. We're a mess right now, but I want to go back to one thing I've been playing. Okay. I plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> you remember something. Just to like go back on track. Yes. Um, plugged in my Wii U again. After How was so that? Long. Um, I forgot about Wii Sports Club. You remember that? Oh my god. Yeah. I th- actually I remember someone mentioned it on Twitter not too long ago, and I remember looking it up and being like, "What was that?" <laughs> it's like an um, online kind of thing. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, no, now I remember. That was weird. Did you get it? Oh, I, 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 it was a free download, but you had to pay for, like, the other sports. Well, all right. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. You got tennis for free, I think. Well, yeah, that makes sense. But other than that, I have plugged in now to... It's a Wii, it's a Wii thing for me. Okay. And just to play Wii games, no Wii U games, other than Smash. Because I think... I still have a few Wii U games I need to finish. Like, I still, I still want to keep... The Wii plugged in for Zelda's the two Zelda HD remix. Those are really I good. Play those Smash Four, Smash Five is different. Yep, because you're gonna have you're not gonna have a way to play Smash Four on the Switch. Yep, for unless sure. they port it. And um, for on the the Wii the original Wii, I'm gonna have like I'm gonna buy some WiiWare games. We're gonna get that into that yep, later. Yep. But speaking of later, what are you all done with your? Um, I'm just gonna say um. <laughs> I down. Oh, I've actually started doing a bit more Wii modding. Hmm. So I've been, yeah. Speaking of Wii, I don't know. I guess we're on a Wii, Wii feeling, we're Wii all, nostalgia. Our week is all over the place right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, I've, uh, yeah. So I, I've, I've been installing a few things on my Wii just to sort of like try them out. Um, like Wii U, you mean? You don't have a Wii? No. You have a original Wii? Oh yeah, right there. Literal, <laughs> literally right by your foot. I have I two. There's that. another one up there. So, I, I remember I got a Wii to mod for a, a Smash or Brawl. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. the good thing is once, like, as soon as you install the the Project M stuff, you're pretty much, like, halfway to being able to install anything. Yeah. So, I mean, I've installed Homebrew Channel, and I got a bunch of emulators, and I got, um, I've even, like, my Wii, you can install... GameCube and Wii games on it. Mm-hmm. Whatever you want, including the entire collected WiiWare collection. Really? Yeah. So, oh. um, just so when you're saying you're going to go and buy some WiiWare stuff, I'm like, they're all up there. <laughs> well, okay. When I say all, there's a few that are undocumented. And there's actually people doing callouts for, can we get someone to download these games, then archive them online? Mm-hmm. So there's, but here's the thing. The entirety of the American WiiWare store archived. You can download the whole collection. Uh, you need about an eight gigabyte card, though. That's a lot. Which, yeah, it's right? a lot for a Wii. For Wii, yeah, yeah. right. Because there was, I think, a two hundred megabyte limit or something on it. Like it was the WiiWare games had to be small. Yeah, yeah. Um, then it's European. There's some weird European exclusives and a bunch of Japanese only games that are currently unarchived. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm not too worried about the WiiWare because all of America is archived. So, uh, but no, I've been just installing some stuff. Some games that, like, I'm looking up online and I'm like, I don't want to pay $70 for a new Wii game. Or, like, not even a new Wii game, but just to buy someone's copy of this Wii game that I don't have, right? That's what I'm also going to do with my Wii U. I'm going to have, like, I'm gonna, the Wii games I don't have physically, I'm going to get them on the Wii U eShop. Yep. I'm going to get Super Sluggers. Oh yeah, because that's a really it's fun a good game. game. Yep. Uh, also featured in this week's uh, music to Smash too. Did you listen? Oh, was it? No, I haven't listened yeah, yet. Yeah, you needed to. Oh, come on. I listened yet? I put them up literally for you. I was no, I I was playing Burnout with my friend. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I'll, um, I'll listen to them tonight. Okay, Don't fair worry. enough. Um, but uh, so like I got no more heroes because I want to play through that. Um, I got Kirby's Return to Dreamland, which I never got itself. I got it physically, but I didn't play it. Really? And then um, I realized the physical version got really rare yep and i regretted my decision to give it away yep so um <laughs> so i'm getting those um got a few more gamecube games including melee which i did boot up and play and the nice thing is with the 
with the having the Wii, I was like, I don't want to have to unlock everything for Melee. So what did I do? Got I found mod. a save online that had a, not only 100% everything done, but all trophies, including the ones that are, like, unreleased and you can't get oh, officially. That's cool. So I'm like, ah, that's cool. Um, Melee with items on is actually fun. It's a bit of a shame they don't <laughs> play it properly at tournaments. Um, I also, I did, so uh, originally I was like, I heard, have you heard of 20XX? No. Not not the game 20XX yeah. that we talked about last week. The 20XX mod for Smash. You tweeted about it, but I... So wasn't... basically, it's a mod that makes it more tournament ready. Um, it lets you have... Um, it fixes the slowdown that's on Fountain of Dreams. Because mm-hmm. that, that stage has natural slowdown on it if you okay. have four players. Because of the reflections. Um, it lets you have character names up to eight characters instead of four. So that's that's a nice thing for yes. for that. Um, it adds in um, more shield colors, so you can choose your shield color oh, too. Cool. So that if you have a char- a character that you want to have the color contrast instead, so you can so like see your body in there a bit mm. more, you can fix that. Cool. Um, and it automatically adds in. Uh, well, the version I saw it. What it does is it puts um, little outlines around the stages for green for legal, yellow for counterpit, oh, okay. red for banned. Right. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. If I get that mod, I'll get everything unlocked. Right. That yeah. should be good. I didn't know that it deletes every stage but the legal ones. Oh, re- so I turned it on and there was five stages, <laughs> and I'm like. I thought it did the outlines, and apparently they changed it because people were accidentally hitting stages they weren't supposed to. So they literally deleted every stage but the legal ones. Did you get around that, or? Well, that's why I I, inst- I uninstalled that and instead got the the full save. Oh, okay. So I'm like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, the Wii is hilariously easy to mod. Also, like all the stuff you do on the Wii, it's the exact same on the Wii. U. Okay. In through Wii mode, it's the exact same. I don't want to, like, mod my Wii U just in case something goes wrong. Apparently, there's no way because they are, it's actually, like, a separate inside. Oh, really? Yeah, like, the Wii mode is so separate from the Wii. Like, you can't do any Wii U stuff. Yeah. But it's so separate that, like, anything that happens in the Wii mode, you can just recover it by huh. just doing a reset on just the Wii mode. So, yeah, no. Uh, that's that's that, what I've heard. Then. Yeah, like, it's it's so easy. You just go through the Project M method. You get the homebrew channel. And then, uh, then yeah, you can get Nintendo and play GameCube games on your Wii U even. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Neat. Um, we do not condone. <laughs> we do not condone um, hacking and stealing games. But uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. That's all well, I'm going to say. They're not going to be able to get the WiiWare games anymore. No, that's true. So, so yeah, for sure. Um, but I think that's it yeah. for weeks. Half an hour for our weeks. That sounds about good. Um, we're honestly going to be mostly news this week, though, yes. because we, it's, there's a lot. There's a piece of news that has, like, 50 branches. Yeah, that so we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to be talking about topic. it for quite a bit. But, but uh, we also have a lot of news that pertains to me, both of us, this week. Yes, for sure. Usually it's, like, half One you, One or the me. other. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get going with the news. So first off, there was a, a big Sonic stream, which I'm sure you don't care I, about. I, you know what? I'm kind of kind of excited for this stuff okay so first off there is a uh new version of sonic mania coming out called sonic mania plus and physical version physical version yes. with a really nice manual a cover that makes it look like a genesis game which is really cool i almost, um, almost want to get the physical version on switch yeah no i'd say go for it like that's awesome but aren't, isn't the plus stuff getting a free so, yeah, upgrade no it's not free it's oh. gonna it's gonna they said it's gonna be they said it's going to be less than if you bought, like, the full game. Okay. Like, it's they say it's going to be, like, because the original game is, what, like, 20 bucks? Yeah, around there. And then, so then the physical version is only going to be 30. Okay, that's... So, uh, they're going to release probably a $10 upgrade. Right. So it adds in um, Mighty the Armadillo, who was... No idea who these so, characters okay, are. So, so here's the thing. <laughs> Mighty the Armadillo was a character who was actually meant to be one of Sonic's, like, original... Designs? Like, like, well, yeah, kind of an original. He was an original design, number one. Okay. Like he, he's actually like a sprite edit of Sonic. But they brought him back for um, Knuckles Chaotix, which is a spin off game, and um, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, which is an arcade game where you use a trackball. It's also literally the worst game because it's like it eats quarters so fast. I beat it 
on a on a real arcade machine with a trackball, but it had free play, and I would have spent like fifteen dollars to try and beat it. Wow, it was bad. Huh. Uh, with, with just twenty five cents each time you die twice. Wow. So yeah. <laughs> um. So he's pretty much he's like a Sonic clone, but I think they're gonna add in his ability to wall jump, which is gonna be very different. Um. And otherwise, they're gonna like he hasn't been in a game for. 20 years so and then the really crazy pick a character that only the most hardcore sonic fans know ray the flying squirrel is like he was literally only in one game (laughs) he was in sega sonic the hedgehog is the third playable character in that he's never appeared anywhere else except in sonic generations he and mighty appeared on wanted missing since 1993 <laughs> posters like these characters are deep cuts uh so have they explained why they brought them back or because the people making it are huge classic sonic fans and like those are like the characters that like aren't in the game at all oh, okay uh because bean bark and knack are uh in a boss fight so they can't have them um what about amy amy at this time so this is like pre time skip because there's like the modern time skip. Mm. This is before she was an action girl. She's literally just a little girl in oh. this. So yeah, no, like Sonic CD era Amy is not a. She wouldn't be able to fight. She's, oh okay. She's yeah, not a, not in that position. And until they start bringing like I can honestly see them even adding in another as DLC later because it just makes sense. And they're gonna have stories which is gonna be cool. Okay. So, um, Other than the characters is there anything new in the there's game? a thing called encore mode which they said will let you play through the game in a way that's brand new but reusing levels and uh changing how they look and a bit of how they play huh so yeah we don't know what that's going to be whether it's going to be mirror mode or new palette swaps or maybe randomized mode. it's gonna be they said something that will make it so that you could play the game over and over and it'll be a different experience every time so that might be cool um so we're gonna have to see what that is but we don't know are you gonna get the physical version no i'm just gonna upgrade no no yeah i think i'm gonna get physical um, i really like physical going along with that we are getting sonic mania adventures which is a series of short uh animated films on youtube uh which will be free of course because youtube is free done by the guys who did the opening video so tyson hess and all those guys at studio yada um there's so did you see that picture right there yeah you see me and then there's the guy doing the jojo pose then the guy in the white shirt yeah that white shirt guy that's tyson hess he's the animator for sonic mania so there's there's a picture of me right beside him so that's kind of cool (laughs) um i love how we're on audio podcast and people won't know what i'm pointing at but that's okay um took a picture of it and put it on the twitter i could yes well i I put that picture up all the time because i'm just it's so beautiful (laughs) um then the last thing, well, then they talked about the new Sonic comic. There's only four issues so far, but it's being done by the old Sonic Archie guys, but it's no longer by Archie. It's by IDW. It has a few new characters and uh, looks good. Let's just hope that Ken Penders stays away. Oh my God. Do you know anything about Ken Penders? Oh my God. We might have to have an episode where I discuss the tragedy of Ken Penders. I'm gonna the unwise. Him up. Oh no. Oh no. You're going to search him up. Okay. And meanwhile, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the last bit of news, which is an announcement of a top secret Sonic oh, game. <laughs> Do you know about him? Yeah, I've seen his face. So he's the guy who like believes that he should own the rights to all of Sonic because he wrote a few issues of the comic. So he literally has the rights to like some of the... Ki- he is the worst comic writer and artist I've ever seen. Uh, he it, It's bad. That's his art. Go back. That's his art style. And he believes he should own a Sonic? Because he says Sonic wasn't good till I wrote it. Okay, no, now go back. Go back one more. So he literally bought the rights to all of his OCs that he made and is now making his own comic called The Lara Sue Chronicles. And this is literally the art. That's some pretty bad. Look up Lara Sue Chronicles and you'll see they they took a screenshot of um of uh Anthony Mackie. You know, um, you know Anthony Mackie, right? Yeah. And they colored him, they recolored him and made him a character in it. And it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh my God. The art is the worst I've ever, like, th- there's a lot of fan art. Like, oh, oh it's, Jesus. it's literally Anthony Mackie. Um, 
Yeah, so um, this is because it's unrelated to Archie. There's hopefully going to be no lawsuits from him because he literally sued and got the rights to his characters, and it was a huge thing. Um, but uh, so yes, the other thing, the Sonic R, this, this big bombshell drop at the end, or bit, kind of, yeah. But yeah. here's but here's the weird thing, right? So we we saw this trailer and it shows it shows Sonic's car from the um, Sonic and All Stars racing games, right? Like you see bits of it, you hear revving up. Um, and then you see it shows the logo, but the only thing that's on it is the letter R. Now, that letter R is the exact same letter R that's used in Sonic R, which is the Sonic racing game where they're on foot. Mm. Which, that's the one where, like, can you feel the sunshine comes from? Yeah. Um, but here's the weird part about it. So, after that... It's confirmed that this game is not a sequel to anything that has ever been made before. It is a brand new title. Weird. So, what we're thinking is it's going to be, um, because there was leaks that this is going to be made by Sumo Digital, so the guys who made the Sonic and All-Stars Racing uh, transformed both the first and the second games. Yeah. Um, which, those are great games. Have you played them? They are, I might download it on PS3 just to play it with you, because they are literally, I would say, on par with Mario Kart 8. Really? They are really good. Huh. Actually, I have it on PC. We can play it on PC later, because there's more characters on that. Um, but, uh, so this is, so there's a leak that they were working on another one, which is good, because, like, their games are awesome. But, um, that it would be just Sonic. No Sega stuff. Hmm. So, if it's just going to be Sonic racing with like that it's gonna be a little disappointing because the sega aspect of sonic and sega all-stars racing was really good like it was they did so many deep cuts to franchises that were just like unloved and they would make huge amazing racetracks based off the properties and remixes of the music uh we're gonna be playing this later because i need to show you it's so good um but like yeah if it's just sonic it's gonna be a little disappointing but the gameplay will still be there because their gameplay is so good um so yeah that's gonna be interesting for sure all right all right am i taking this next story also sure okay um so they announced another character for soul caliber six being uh gerald from uh the witchman the witcher gerald from the witchman (laughs) yes um oh my god reddit exploded from this because reddit loves the witcher they view it as the pinnacle of video games. It is a really good game. It's uh, a really good Western game. Even though I know you're not a Western guy. It's Eurojank, though. It's weird Eurojank. That's why people love you it. You get collectible trading cards of the girls you sleep with. <laughs> There's the picture of him in the bathtub that the websites won't stop using. <laughs> I don't know. I look at he that. fun, though. Oh, no, as a character, he looks awesome. Yeah. But I just feel, it, as the crossover character i mean yeah just this one is, isn't it there's well people say there's gonna be more but i don't know where they're coming from because there's very rarely been more than one like it's pretty much one per game it's weird that they just introduced him like in the middle of all the yeah it's weird you think that would have been safe for e3 or something yeah. but yeah whatever um which maybe we'll see but uh i don't know after all the leaks have been like zoro for one piece and like a uh, lucina from fire emblem i was like those are such good picks and then it's this and i'm like I think Gerald's more interesting than Lucina. I know, but I like Lucina as a character a lot. But you don't know Gerald as a character. Well, no, so. because he's in a Eurojank Western <laughs> game. It's a cycle of not playing. Um, yeah, no, as a as a marketing thing, holy crap, that's a good thing. Because I saw so many people saying, time to buy every single Soul Calibur to support this series. And I'm like, just because Gerald's in it? Also, you're never going to stop me. I'm going to refer to him as Gerald. At Gerald. T- t- no, for the rest of the time, he's Gerald. And I will never stop it. Even on Twitter, I will spell it with a D. Gerald just to of drive, just, just to make Rivaria. people nuts. Um, <laughs> but no, he looks interesting for sure as a character. Um, and that's cool. Um... Speaking of characters I don't know or honestly care about, um, new character for Dissidia announced, uh, Vane. I sleep. From uh, Final Fantasy twelve. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was XII, I remember That's 12. Oh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> 
Did you just say it's XII? No, no, I, I remember you going through the news. I'm like, well, yeah, it's XII 12. Yeah, yeah, it's 12. Um, yeah, I haven't played through much of 12. Um, I played about a couple hours and I think I've seen him, but I never knew that he was the villain. Uh, he does have Arden would have been better, Arden would have been way better. Um, he does have a blackface costume though. That's weird. Yeah, where he gets black. Like, huh. he just gets ripped in black. Um, so I'm very happy for this blackface representation in a Final Fantasy game. It's very nice. I'm joking. I'm so joking. Um, yeah, no, I'm, this is not convincing me to get the season pass at all. It's still really expensive, so I'm going to say I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. Uh, I still think the stage, the tactic stage was a cooler announcement. The one that looks like a PS1 oh, yeah. game. I think that's way cooler than him. Um, all right. Next. Do you want to do more the the fighting game stuff? I mean, because you have some more fighting game news. Oh pieces. yeah, sure. I'll I'll move the other one up. Uh, Tekken Seven. Oh, Street Fighter. Oh no, but I'll do Tekken then Street Fighter. Okay, I just okay. saw it after. Uh, Tekken Seven is getting a collaboration, at least in the arcade version. And this will come back to the console one later with a uh, summer lesson. Do you know what summer lesson is? Isn't that like VR? The VR game where you teach. Yeah. yeah. So it's getting collaboration That's costumes odd. with that. So that seemed odd, but then again. There's summer lesson costumes in Digimon. So, <laughs> huh. yeah, they're really pushing that as a Namco property. I would not be surprised if we end up with summer lesson uh, trophies in Smash Bros. at this point. Huh. Yeah. Um, it's weird. Uh, so, Noctis comes out on the 20th. Yes. And I'm probably going to buy the game again. <laughs> I really hope that his one, the, the one original costume, the fighting one, the one with the hood up, like oh, yeah, it looks like one. the fighting one, I hope that comes back to Final Fantasy XV. That'd be cool. Because that's a really cool outfit. I mean, he looks, the... it's literally him copying his look from Jin, but that's fine. I want that in. <laughs> but like all the other costumes is like Royal, is the Royal costume. Yep. The, the, the garment. Yep. The Does he have the one without it? Well, he has or both. Just, he has the, the business suit. Yeah, he has the business suit. He has the king's outfit. Yeah. He has the fishing outfit yeah. with a fishing rod yeah, that I replaces that. his sword. <laughs> um, he has the chocomog outfit, and he has the an original one for the fighting. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And his stage looks awesome too. Oh, and his stage Hammerhead. looks so good. With oh, the, and the, the remix pros. is really good too. Yeah. <laughs> I love that remix. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's really awesome. Um. Tekken's just fun. Yeah. It's one of the funny games I really like playing. It's Yeah, it's definitely one of the ones that like the most casual people can hop in and know how to just have fun with it. Yeah. So uh, that's cool. Um, so there was a bit of a kerfuffle with a Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection because they showed off a footage that was available at a event from what they said was the near final game. And uh, they noticed that there was no training mode option at all. Because this is actually, like, this this collection is really just a series of, um, like, it's just, it's not the console versions. It's the arcade versions. It's arcade perfect versions. So, as such, there's no training mode in arcades. Nope. Like, no, you go to an arcade, you put in your money, and you're in arcade mode, right? Like, until someone else puts in money, then they play two-player, right? So, but they did confirm that, like, no, don't worry, there is training mode versus mode, arcade mode as separate options coming. Okay. coming. That's good. But it's just we didn't we didn't have it set up for that because at an event we don't want someone playing in the lab for a half hour because it's an event. People are lined up. Why would you go through arcade? Go through training mode while you're here, yeah. right? Um, so yeah, they confirmed that, but people were worried. People were like, "Did Capcom release a game without training mode after Street Fighter V launching with no arcade mode? It wouldn't be too weird." And it's like, shut up! There were still single player options. You twat! How much is this anniversary collection going to cost? Bro, I think it's just forty bucks. Okay, yeah. I'm going to pick it up. Yeah, it I mean, be, be a good. Uh... Did you did you read the um the yet, Nintendo read. Force? No. It actually has a, a section in it. Oh, by the way, please subscribe to Nintendo Force. It's really good. Uh, there's a section in it that literally t- talks about what are every single game in it and what's the differences. Oh, cool. So you should read that because yeah. it really goes into... It'd be into... a good game to have portably to play with friends. And... See, but I think I think it's a good game to have on PS4 for me. And the reason why is because I can't plug in my fight stick into the Switch. Oh. So so the, for me, I'm going to get it on the same console that I have Street Fighter 5 and 4 on. Okay. So that I have Street Fighter 1 through 5. Like, I will have everything on there which would oh, be okay. cool Fair um enough. but yeah no that's actually looking cool it does have a unlockable a lot of unlockable stuff with uh full art like full art books are in it that you can oh, look through that's cool. um there's uh, a sprite viewer where you can look at every single sprite frame by frame 
and it'll show like the exact hit boxes, but also like what every color palette looks like. So that's really cool. Okay. Um, that's going to be really cool. I'm excited for that. Back on track. Yes. Um, Yakuza. Yakuza Kiwami 2 was announced for the West. Here's why I think this is weird. Yaku- they, they, when Yakuza, you know what Kiwami is, right? Yeah. It's the remake. Mm-hmm. So they're remaking the second game. Uh, they also said that they might make Yakuza 0 2 a sequel to Yakuza 0 because huh. there's enough of time skip between 0 and 1 that they could make another game in there. So they said we might do that. Might make a like a half, you know, 0.5 kind of. Um, but so this game they literally said in the interview when they announced it was made for one reason. Americans loved Yakuza 0 and Yakuza 2 did not sell in America. Hmm. So it was literally made for America and only, and it's out in Japan and only now are they announcing that it's coming out here. So like, it's interesting. this was the most it's going to happen thing. I'm still waiting for Fist of the North Star, the, <laughs> the Yakuza game of that to come out because that looks so crazy. Um, but uh, we got to wait for that to see what happens. All right, you get the next one. Uh, okay, so on March 20th, there will be a Nindies Direct. Yes. And I'm really happy because I'm happy that Nindies are getting their own directs now. Like, there was there was a definitely, there was some of them in the uh, in the original direct that just happened. Yeah. But, like, they're obviously, they might have decided, let's cut back and have them all in their separate one to, to not, you know, kill the hype for them. Because, you know. I'm actually really excited Smash for Smash was there. Yeah. You're, you, no one would care about any <laughs> indie announcements because Smash is there. Um, I'm excited for this because, like, I'm just excited to see like what people. Come do you have up any with now. predictions for what you think will be there? I can't really predict. I have a few. Really? Uh, Shovel Knight, the final DLC. Oh yeah. You think so, it'll drop that day, or do you think no, it'll be no? No, We're, we'll get because we haven't seen a trailer for it. Maybe yet. Maybe Amiibo release. Amiibo date. release, yeah, for sure. Um, I think we're gonna get the Stardew Valley update. Oh yeah, because that's coming. Uh, it's in testing right now for the multiplayer, but there's also a single player update coming with it, so that's gonna be cool. Um. Probably some more um, ports of other games that were on other stuff being brought onto the Switch for the first time, oh, I which hope, will be um, good. Ruiner comes onto the Switch. I don't know what that is. It's so, like a Hall of Miami, but futuristic and okay. really cool. Okay. Oh, right, that one. Yeah. yeah. Um. Other than that, maybe Hall of Miami it's, itself. Yeah. Can see one that. and two. Well, because Devolver's going to be there. That's true. Yeah. Well, you, well, there's no way Devolver won't. They're one of the biggest indie yeah. publishers there <laughs> is. So uh, that and Adult Swim games, it's like they're huge. Um, yeah, no, there's just a lot there that I'm excited to see. I hope yeah, to see maybe we'll some... see more of that, um, that, like, Mexican game, whatever it's called. Which one? The one where you shoot their heads and it gets oh, smaller. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, Morphe's Law. Morphe's Law, yes. yes. Um, yeah, no, I, I haven't seen see anything that. since, like, the announcement. Well, well, I think that game came out on PC already. Oh. So it's just a port thing. Oh, okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, that's gonna be... It's gonna be good i'm excited for that i might not even work that day if that's the case i might do a stream of me doing reactions there won't be smash hype but there will be hype hype so um all right and what we talked about earlier the wii shop is shutting down the the ability to add points is... which kind of means the shop but still you it's won't... going to be active yeah but yeah you'll be able to re-download your games but you won't be able to buy yeah. anything this is this ends on march 26th though if you want we wear games that you can't get anywhere else and you don't want now. to download them which yeah. you can do uh there's also a complete virtual console pack on oh, there God. so uh <laughs> yeah that's only about six gigabytes because it's huh. all smaller oh, yeah. games so but uh yeah um that kind of sucks it is the end of an era but i also thought wow it's still up <laughs> <laughs> that was my first thought i'm like huh that lasted longer than I would have expected because it's been about, what, 10 years? More than that. Yeah. More than that. It's been a long time. Um, um, have you been on the eShop for the Nintendo? Oh, yeah. Wii Channel? Yes, I have. It's nostalgic. Oh, 100%. I remember when I got my Wii, I also got a Wii card with it. Do you oh, remember yeah. when the cards came in like a bubble pack? When it wasn't a flat card, it was like a plastic thing and there was a Oh yeah, it. I do remember that. Remember? Yeah, so I remember I got one of those, and <laughs> what I got like Paper Mario. I got um, I got like Mario World because I loved it and I haven't played it on anything since. And then like nowadays, it's like whatever you can get Mario World and everything. But back then, it was like, oh my god, I can download Mario <laughs> World. I can download Mario RPG. Ah! so like that was huge, crazy, awesome stuff. But yeah, so yeah, oh, that was good. I think when I 
get the Lost Winds games. Yeah. And the My Life as a King. Get My Life as a Dark Lord also. Yeah. That's the sequel. I remember My Life as a King, I played the demo and got like hooked on it for some reason. So I guess that was my first Final Fantasy Actually, game. Actually, no. Uh, My Life as King is really good. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, not going to condone piracy, but uh, I did see on there is when I was looking through all the stuff to download, they did have My Life as King plus My Life as a Dark Lord plus all DLC as a download. And I'm like, oh, oh. God. <laughs> the DLC is not mandatory at all. Most of it's just um just costumes and stuff. Oh, so, fair. But it's like, uh, there's a couple things where it's like, beat this and you can unlock a higher level bakery shop. You know, so it's like, but it's all like end end game stuff. So it's mm. like not stuff to really help you. But yeah, no, that game is really good. Some other little gems on there that I'm not quite interested in. I don't really need to play, but I'd like to have a Lost Winds and those Final yeah. Fantasy games oh, on there. Oh, uh, the one that a lot of, uh, really good, Konami's uh, Rebirth games. Yeah, I heard, I heard about that Contra one Contra the Rebirth, Castlevania the Rebirth. Uh, those are just brand new old games pretty much. Like they're really cool. Um, yeah, no, there's good games on there for sure. You going to buy anything? No, I'm gonna download them. Fair, you pirate. I know I'm horrible. Uh, yar har <laughs> fiddle dd. Dee dee. Uh, speaking of stereotypical fantasy things, because uh, pirates, you know, and then we're going on to witches with Witchbrook. You've had better segues. I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we uh, so Witchbrook is the new name that was I think originally Project Spellbound was what it was yeah. called, and some people are mad that it's now Witchbrook. I like Witchbrook because yeah, it's, it's like I f- it's I like how it's like similar to Stardew Valley. It's referring to like a location. Yeah, um, it looks really cute. It reminds me a lot of, especially like Mother, like Mother Three style graphics almost it gives me a good feeling of that um i will say the logo when i first saw it i thought it was gwitch brook because there's a little like curly cue by the at the beginning so i thought gwitch brook that's a weird name and then i saw wait it's also the other side that's okay (laughs) um it looks good i mean i don't know anything about the gameplay but honestly i think these guys rocked it with Stardew? Still gotta so play like, Stardew. Oh my I, god, it's so good. I know good. it's gonna be amazing, and that's why I'm excited I'm for all, Witchbrook. I'm almost done my first year, and, like, I'm at a point where I have so much going on every day with, like, like there's so much happening, and I'm like, <laughs> I have so many goals, and I'm like, oh my god, it's so fun. Is, and, it, is it a thing where you can only do a certain amount of things in a day? or like you, Well, you have an energy meter. Oh. Okay. Uh, you can restore it by eating. You can restore it by going to the hot springs, um, and, uh... Pretty much your energy meter dictates how much you do in the day because, like, yeah, you can eat, but you only fill up a little bit of it. So it's, like, it's just for that one extra little bit unless you have, like, crazy items like a cake that will, like, fill it up all the way. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, like, you you have, you know, because otherwise you could spend all day, like, cho- like, chopping wood takes a lot of energy. Like, it does in real life. Have you ever chopped a tree? No. Boy, it takes a lot of energy. <laughs> um, it's not fun. I don't recommend chopping trees so, if you don't have the if you don't have to. But in in the game, it like it takes a chunk of energy because otherwise, like your farm is when you start it, it's littered with trees and rocks to break and stuff like that. So uh, that's how they kind of hold it in, saying like, "Whoa, hey, don't spend your all day doing that. Okay. You know, go into town, talk to people. You know, go into give them present. Pro tip." Give presents whenever you can. That unlocks, like, events with them. Mm. And they're really cool. So, like, there's some really good character interaction events. Um, Back to Witchbrook. Are there, were there any more details announced? No, I don't think so. We no? just have screenshots. We have little... I, there are details about the gameplay, but I haven't read into them too much. Um, it's a, still a pretty unknown game, and I could see us getting information in the Nindies Direct. Because they haven't confirmed that it's coming to the to the Switch yet. But they did say... Boy, that Switch is a swell console. So we'll probably just wait for the Witch probably wait w- w- yeah, wait for the 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 announce. They're waiting to announce it. So uh, speaking of games being announced for systems, is that a better one? That is better. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bomberman Super Bomberman R is coming to systems other than the Switch, the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Yes, and they're all getting special crossover characters. Yes. PS4 is getting Ratchet Bomber. Yep. Uh. Xbox is getting Master Chief Bomber. Yep. And the PC Steam version is getting Peabody from... Um, Portal 2. Portal 2. Not Peabody Bomber. It's just Peabody. So, that's cool. Uh, those game, That game is really fun. Um, I can especially see people on PC. If you plug in enough controllers, you can get eight people playing that, and that'll be a lot of fun. Because yeah. on PC, you can plug in whatever controller and play it. Um, 
yeah, no, that game's a lot of fun. So uh, I did. Were there crossover costumes on the Switch version? No, but people think there might be one coming in an update now. Okay. So, um, but I remember it was funny when that was announced. Someone said, "Hey, can we get a Switch version?" <laughs> Oh, uh, can just imagine going on like every post. Okay, I'm actually gonna pull a story up here because it's actually super similar. Um, so Inti Creates, one of my big favorite companies, they're so good, has announced Gal Gunvolt Burst. So when they announced that, I'm like, is, wait, Gal Gun and Gunvolt? Just wait. So I was like, is this is this a sequel to Mighty Gunvolt Burst? And they're like, no, we just renamed it for other consoles. So it is a port of Mighty Gunvolt Burst to PS4, Xbox, and PC, but they decided to remove the Mighty Number no. 9 from the title <laughs> and instead put in Gal Gun. Huh. <laughs> the game where you shoot up girl skirts. So, um, which is coming to the Switch in April, and I'm probably going to get it. But, um, actually, they might give it to me for free if I do. If I <laughs> card, but regardless. Um, so, yeah, I had to ask on Twitter. I'm like... Is this? And I was the first one to ask, right? And then my comment gets a lot of uh, quote retweets and yeah. in news articles and stuff because I was the <laughs> only one to ask. Because I'm like, this looks. Because I went to the website and I'm like, this looks the exact same as Mighty Gunvolt Burst, but it has a new type. Would... And so the big thing is, um, the character from Galgun Ekero, uh, was it was she was a free DLC character for Mighty Gunvolt Burst, and then I think like two months later she was paid for like two dollars. But this is it starts with the she starts in the base game. Oh, okay. So that's the big difference is that she's in it as a default playable character. Otherwise, get that game. It's a really good platformer. Um, it's like the Mega Man game you wanted my number nine to be. So that's cool. <laughs> All right, uh, and speaking of games not on the Switch, because Gal Gunvolt Burst isn't, but might, might, whatever. Um, <laughs> Sega Genesis Collection was announced uh, for PS4 and Xbox One and PC. Not PC, actually, that's a lie. It's already on PC, technically. But uh, not for the Switch, which is weird. But then again, this is not a big problem, because that collection is trash. Is it? It's missing a lot of games. Uh, it does not, in- so it has, doesn't even include Sonic 3. That's weird. Which is weird. Um, because, well, I mean, then again, now we know publicly that there is music licensing issues because Michael Jackson composed the music right. in Sonic 3, and this is now becoming public knowledge, so now the, now that it's public knowledge, you're like, okay, well, we can't really publish these games without giving money to, uh, the Jackson family, right? So, um... But, uh, yeah, no, not super love in that collection. Uh, there's actually, so it's, it does have a really cool UI where you start off and you are literally in a night, in a, in a eighties and nineties kids bedroom and you see like all the games on the wall that you pull off and, oh, that's cool. and like you're sitting there and you, you see the TV and the time of day stuff. But here's the thing. That's all available for free. If you buy any of the Genesis games on steam. Mm. so that the steam game is low through that now but here's the reason why like i'm I'm not usually one to say go through steam instead did you remember what steam allowed on these games that is super crazy you're allowed to upload your own rom hacks oh legally and people can install them and play them huh this is the first time ever that a company has said yeah rom hacks are cool so like literally you go on you play a game on the Sega Genesis collection on Steam, and you can say, you know what? Sonic 2 is fun, but I'm going to play Kirby in Sonic 2. And you just click it and download it for free if you have Sonic 2. And you can play as characters from other games. You can have it boot up new games entirely. You, like, it's a crazy service that legalized ROM hacks. And as such, I'd play that instead because just the ability to, any game you have on there, you can just get a crazy mod version of it for free. Okay. So I would prefer that. Um, that's why I'm not too angry about it not being on Switch, honestly. All right, you can take the next one. All right, so the studio that has uh, created multiple remasters. Yes. M- most recently, Shadow of the Colossus. Yes. Which is an 
awesome game. Yep, yep. Did you beat it yet? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, they are. They have announced they are ma- working on a new remaster. Yes. Not an original game like people thought they were going to do next. There was people saying that they thought they'd do an original game next. Mm. But... They have stated that this new remaster is going to be bigger in scale than Shadow of the Colossus. Now, what that means... I think they mean, like, <laughs> more technical, almost. Yeah, yeah so that's what, I think it's from a technical aspect. Because, yeah. I mean, honestly... Adding, Harder to work on. Adding in any NPCs would technically make it bigger than Shadow of the Colossus, <laughs> yeah. but um, no, it's gonna. So it's gonna be interesting what it's gonna be. Um, what do you think it is? I have no idea. I think it's Metal Gear Solid. No, I think it is. I think no. it's a Metal Gear game. I think. I think so. Why Metal Gear? I'd argue a Metal Gear game isn't bigger than Shadow of the Colossus. But like the NPC thing, I guess. I know. I, I. I don't. Well, number one, some people thought it means it's related to Sony. But there's there's been zero word that it's been related to Sony. Some people think it might be. Now hold your horses. A Nintendo game. Really? Yeah. Some people think that. Really? Uh, yeah. Huh. So I don't know if you know this, but even though Wind Waker HD was done in house, the um, Twilight Princess was done through a third party uh, HD upper. So. It might be a, it might be possible that it could be a remade Zelda game. Skyward Sword. Now, so some people think Skyward Sword. Some people think Ocarina of Time 3D being upported to the Switch with like more like like in the same way they did it to Shadow of the Colossus, taking older models, redoing it from scratch, like doing the models from scratch, doing the gameplay technically from scratch, but keeping a lot of what made it it. You know, like not a total redo. So that's what some people think. I'm gonna say bigger That's than. That's completely like, yeah. like <laughs> bigger than Shadow Colossus could also mean like a bigger property. Yeah, it could be for yeah. sure. Um, no, I think I don't think it's a bigger property. I think they are talking about the technical size. Of oh, okay. Because um, yeah, like the the open world for Shadow of the Colossus is quite big, but yeah. it's empty. Oh yeah. So we'll have to see. All right. That's gonna be interesting. I'm excited to hear. Uh, they do good work. Uh, next up, we have an announcement from Tecmo Koei of another Warriors game. Boy, they just crank these out. Um, Warriors Orochi 4. Now, this one is going to be interesting to see what they do with it. Because Warriors Orochi 3 was a big, dumb crossover with way too many guest characters. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, you had characters from Soul Calibur, characters from Ninja Gaiden, characters from, um Tales of Games. You got, like, a crazy crossover with, uh, it was pretty much... A crossover between Dynasty and Samurai Warriors uh, with a bunch of extra guest characters thrown in. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see if they go for, okay, we're just going to go back to Samurai and Dynasty. Or are we going to just go all balls out and just say, yeah, throw in uh, Sonic. Throw in, <laughs> uh, you know, everyone. I don't know. I can't think of characters right now. But, like, it's a big, it's a, just a big crossover is what it is. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do with that. Hopefully they learn from their mistakes and don't make it open world though. Cause Dynasty Warriors 9 is not very good. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Release date? Or just announced? No, jet like just announced this oh, morning. Okay. Like it like there's this no This morning I thought it was announced like a few days ago. No, that was just announced this morning. Oh. Yeah, like that was right now, huh. pretty much. Um and that was yeah, like we have no information on it other than a logo. That's it. Japan doesn't do release dates. Oh, okay. Um All right. We're almost there for this half. Last game story. Or last... No, actually, no, we're done games. Yeah, technically it's a show. Um, They've announced a season two of the Ace Attorney anime, which is really cool because the first season covered the first two games and will this cover games three and four or just three? Maybe three, four, five. We'll have to see. But uh, that show does some interesting stuff. Um, It's not as straight of a... Like, you'd think when you're doing a visual novel, it would be just a straight adaptation, right? But they have fun with it. There's a lot of crazy over-the-top stuff. It represents it slightly differently from how it does in the games. Different evidence points to different things, which is nice if you're re-watching. Um, but that show gets really hype, uh, which is good. So that's going to be fun. I'm always down for more Ace Attorney. We do have the announcement that they're making Ace Attorney for the Switch. Yeah, so, so that's going to be good. Uh, I'm sure we're also probably going to get 1, 2, 3 on Switch along with... Um, Probably 4, 5, 6, because we got the 3DS version of 4, and then 5 and 6 are on the 3DS. But there's also iOS versions of them, so yeah. we'll probably get, you know, 
the big collection on there. Those games you could replay forever. So, and the Switch is a perfect console for them. So, oh, yeah. that's really cool. Uh, and yes, no, I'm excited for that. And your big, your last, big thing. Last story for now. For now, <laughs> <laughs> um, the new Infinity War trailer has released. Yes, it did. And holy shit, it looks incredible. Um. Man, there's just so much to talk about in the trailer. Um, a lot of um, they showed some uh, of uh, Thanos' uh, costume. Costume. His costume looks really good. Right before like the the studio's logo when he takes off his helmet and the music swells up. I'm like, oh my god, he's like honestly like really like intimidating, like more than ever. I yeah, think. uh, but he's quite more soft spoken than I thought, and I really like that. He's not. He wasn't what I was ex- like when I played Marvel two back in the day. I saw Thanos and he's like. It's like, Infinity Stone, bubble, bubble, rocks. <laughs> like, I thought he was a big, dumb bruiser type, but here he's a lot more eloquent, and I like that. Yeah. Um, also, in the beginning, when uh, it showed, like, Gamora and Tony Stark talking. Yeah. Those were two separate scenes, I'm pretty sure. Oh, did you hear what people were saying that they totally think? What? Do you remember how the Thor Ragnarok trailers totally lied about where scenes took place? Oh, yeah. So people were like... Those backgrounds look just like green screens, so there's a high chance that some of these are just entirely fake, like what's happening. Yeah. Which, from someone who hates movie trailers because they spoil stuff, I'm so down for. Give us more totally lying movie trailers. I'm also pretty sure Gamora was talking to uh, the Guardians about oh, yeah. Thanos, and then Tony Stark was talking with Doctor Strange. Yep. Also, Doctor Strange and Spider-Man at the end of the trailer made me, like, fanboy hard. Because I've been waiting for that interaction from the cartoon series. There you go. For so long. And him, like, Spider-Man, like, flinging himself through, like, the Titan rubble. I'm pretty sure that's what after Thanos throws the moon. Yep. Um, or just, like, the part where they're, like, suiting up. Like, Cap has his, pops his shield. Black Panther has his mask on and they start running. Also, that Wakandan battle with all the... Yeah. They, they like, a, attacking the shield. Yeah, the explosions are happening on the other side, which is weird. Huh? Yeah, yeah. weird. Um, there's one more thing. What about the big thing that everyone's talking about? Oh yeah, Tony the... and Tony and uh, Peter. Tony and Peter. Oh no, the, the... Tony and Star Lord talking. Oh, and how they Peter have... Quill? Yeah, I thought Peter you meant Quill. Peter, Peter Parker. What? Like... Oh my God! Wait, you're right. That totally is another Steve thing. Yeah, they have the same <laughs> name. Wow, I never even noticed that. Yeah, that that made me genuinely laugh. That's so good because even you could see like Tony's like, "Oh my god, is this what I'm like for other people?" <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then just like uh, Peter T- Peter Parker. There we go. We got a useful <laughs> names now that we've just realized this huge problem. Just like standing there like in awe. He's, yeah, he's so... like the, he's like the audience. Yeah. And then that last part of it, like before the after, before the title credits when Thanos. Is like reaching for a cap and Cap's just like, I think he was like toying with him. But you know, but did, someone put a thing on on uh, the Reddit where, um, I well, it's, I think it was the two best friends Reddit, which you should totally follow because even if you don't watch their content, it's just everything we talk about. <laughs> like it's such hilariously like just whatever is related to what we talk about. So um, they show that like when his hands in there, uh, Thanos has a look of, oh. Like, he's, yeah. he's almost a little shocked that he's able to... Like, it's not, I'm toying with you. It's, he has power. Like, yeah, so of, it's going to be interesting. People were theorizing that Cap takes a heart-shaped herb, which doesn't make sense. It would kind of, like, destroy that plotline of Black Panther. Which one? It's kind of a spoiler, so I'm not going to talk about it. Oh, that one. Um, No, I think it's possible because they didn't say that they just grown the one location. Yeah, you're, you're right. Maybe. Like, that, that's a garden of them. But they could grow elsewhere. And it, there's there's time between the movies, so... It also makes me think, like, how, like, these different... Pro- like, like, with Hulk in the Hulkbuster. Yeah. And like Wait, with, is Hulk in the Hulkbuster? I'm pretty sure. I'm oh, pretty sure Banner... What? Are you yeah, serious? that's what people think. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> and when that scene when all the... What, what are the aliens called? Like, not the Chitauri. Speaking of the Chitauri, they were in the trailer. Wait, are they? Yeah, when Thanos gets grabs oh, uh, huh. young Gamora, they're like on the side. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I only watched it once, so I didn't. I, watched it like I didn't five times. Yeah, um... <laughs> but as you were saying, like the, the, the black aliens. Yeah, I don't know what they're with called. Thick multiple arms. Yeah, they're 
Um, they're not like they're not Cree. They're not Skrull. They're not. I don't know. I don't know. That's a bit. That's it. All I know. They're all like piling on top of the Hulkbuster, and I'm pretty sure that's when like Hulk's just gonna come out and. That's cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Actually, someone just someone just put a thing on on a Reddit recently that shows uh, in the comics recently. Guess who got his own Iron Man armor? Shuri. Red Hulk. Red Hulk. <laughs> Red Hulk steals one, and it's the dumbest thing. I'm just gonna show you here. Talk about it some more while I pull it up. Um. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to like all the combination of powers and yeah. like all the interweaving. Oh my god, here it is. The Iron Hulk. Oh my god. And he says, God bless America. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's so good. And he's wearing like like America tidy whiteies. Like it's not even on all of his body. Like it's just on his hands, feet, and chest, and he has sunglasses on. <laughs> he's a big t- and someone said The Iron Hulk. Someone says he looks like Hagar. And I'm like, yeah, he kinda not, does. you're not wrong. And it's so good. Oh my god, I love it. Also, the Black Order looks really intimidating. I just hope they have personality, because I feel like if those guys aren't done right, they are going to be the most jobber jobbers there is. Like, if they are if they don't have something interesting going on with them, like, some interesting well, they're gonna be they're going to be the connections, but, like, they're going to all go separately for different infinities. Since... I know, but still, it's like, because there's the five of them, and you have so many interesting main characters that, interesting protagonists, if they're not interesting... They're just going to be... No one will remember them. I think... Um, They'll be like, what's his face from the Dark World? Malekith? Malekith. No one remembers him. Because he's so nothing. The one I'm looking forward to is... Uh, I don't remember. The one without the nose. The fact that you know these characters still blows my mind. Because I, I don't even... I don't know what any of them look like. Um, The one that's like... Hardy Doctor Strange with the spikes. And he goes like... Okay. And the trailer? You know sure. what I'm talking about? I I mean I saw the trailer but I don't remember that cuz I Well, he's like a sorcerer. Okay. Yeah. I, him going against Doctor Strange yeah. makes sense. Yeah, no. So if they have cool powers then for sure, but yeah. I I still want them to have personality. They have to be interesting yeah. for me to care because Do you also think like Loki's going to die in this movie? Cuz in that shot in the trailer he's like being like Loki held hostage. Die? You never know. Like this... From a marketing standpoint, I... take well... a look at who is the most popular male, uh, like, anti-hero. I guess, but... I'm... He is the most popular. There is no way. Maybe. There's no way he'll die. They'll, they'll probably, like, if they kill off one of the main cast, which will probably happen, they can easily get someone else in, who in the comics later takes up the mantle, to take up the mantle and be them for a semi, like, an in-universe reboot, if you will. You know, like, they'll make a new Captain America with uh, uh, Anthony Mackie as Captain America, or Bucky as Captain America, right? They can do that. But for a character like Loki... They can't do that because Loki enough. is Loki and Loki is still super popular. Well, he's still in peril in that trailer. Yeah, but I mean, that's then someone saves him. That's what movie plots Thor, are. Probably. Thor, yeah. So Also that shot with Thor, like the ca- the shot behind him with the cape and then Rocket looking and on. He like does the, th- the thunder. I'm like, wow, this character is so much cooler after Ragnarok. Oh my God. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's amazing Um, what happens when you get someone who's not a Shakespeare director to do his movies. Um, And finally, the shot when Thanos just crushes the Tesseract in his hand to get the stones out. Yeah, because I was thinking, I'm like, how do you get, how do you, uh, is it going to, is it inside? No, you just, you just crush it. He's pretty powerful. He's a strong boy. (laughs) He's a strong boy, for sure. That's like, that Tesseract was like the main, like, MacGuffin of like the first Avengers movie. Yep. And, and then he just uh, crushes it in his hand like it's nothing. So, okay, but we agree, mild MCU spoilers here. We agree that the reason he has that is because before, uh, you know, Asgard fell, Loki totally swiped that, right? Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. There's no way There's, he didn't. That's the only way. Yeah, I think that's where the movie's going to start, honestly. With 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 him attacking the... Oh, well, yeah, because yeah. there then it yeah, leads is literally right in, there. right, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and then he'll and then be yeah gets with the guardians and then back to Earth and yep two hours and oh man forty five minutes Star Lord's gonna be when he gets to Earth he's gonna be like what is yeah. all this yeah it's gonna be 
I hope he hears the music that's playing and it's like a top 40 and he says, this is horrible. <laughs> Nothing like on my Zune. <laughs> I wonder if they're like... Okay, okay. The Zune joke in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And by Zune joke, I mean the, the existence of a Zune in the Marvel Universe is the funniest thing ever to me. Because Zune itself is a punchline. Because if they said, here's an iPod, it would have been like, whatever. But here's this failed Microsoft <laughs> competitor for the iPod. It's like, oh my god, it's so good. Go on. I wonder if like they're, all the Avengers are going to be on Earth at once. Or they're, you know? Because s- we've all seen them, like, in, we've seen like Spider-Man, Iron Man, the Guardians on yeah. Titan. And then Cap and that team on Earth. We'll have to see. Doctor Strange, maybe, I don't know. I'm starting to think Ant-Man might not be in the movie. Yeah, because I think, because they said, uh, the Russo brothers said there's going to be stuff in Ant-Man that ties in with Infinity War. Oh, okay. So, maybe. We'll have to see. Maybe he's going to be, like, on the sidelines scene, like, New York getting destroyed and be like, we have the... Yeah? We have a problem. Stop turning on! (laughs) Why does my phone do that? It's creepy. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to, in Avengers 4, we're going to see... There's another thing they said we're going to see a lot more of uh, the smaller characters in Avengers 4 that didn't get their spotlight. Yeah. So we're going to get like Hawkeye more. Yeah. Captain Marvel, obviously, and Ant-Man. Yeah. Avengers 4. I'm really looking, really wondering what that movie's going to be well, called. Well, let's, let's, it's going to be called Jesus Christ, Captain America Died, but um, <laughs> <laughs> Avengers well, 4. We both agree that Cap's like number one on the chopping block. Uh, I, I think so. I think it's Tony, actually. Really? Be and the only reason why is because Tony or uh, Robert Downey. I should stop calling him by his 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 character name. Call him by his actor name. Uh he's too old, and he's already said that he, like, his contract is done. He looks after like he's getting his ass Avengers kicked four in his trailers. Um, and so when you said before, like, you think he'll be around as like the mentor character? No, there's no way because there's number one, his paychecks are already way too high. His his paycheck for Avengers three is higher than every other actors combined. Wow. Like, so number one, it's expensive to get him in. Number two, he's already said he's too old and he wants to move on with it. Um, Number three, it makes sense to bookend with, you know, like the start of a new era. What do we do? We kill off the one who started it. Yeah. So. Because that's the end of Oh, right. I just remembered. What do you think about his weird foot jet? Where his foot like combines oh, yeah. that's into the, the one. Edge stuff. That's... I don't know if I like that. The wings, I was like, that's pretty cool. The foot jet, I'm like, that looks that's like dumb. that's like prime Iron Man. That's like how far you can go with the character again. Maybe that's why he's gonna die in this movie because like that's it. That's the most advanced you can get that suit. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's, <laughs> it's like liquid metal. It can just reshape itself yeah. to whatever you know. So it's gonna. That's be... why we're seeing the bleeding edge armor in this yep. suit because it's gonna be the last appearance. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be gonna be him that means caps because they can't kill both i don't think no they're not gonna kill both um i could see maybe them... cap will be the mentor then yeah i think it makes more sense because i think chris evans is young enough to even stay in that role for a while yeah and so. he, he can do other stuff too yeah for sure um although a little one last thing in the end of the trailer where it's where peter and dr strange introduce themselves and he's like dr strange Oh, we're using our made-up names. Well, then I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> so good. And, then, like, that's something... Oh, by the way, I saw a little bit of Justice League while my dad was watching oh, yeah? it. I was going to say, that's something, like, Justice League would never do. No. Never. Um, I, saw, I went upstairs and saw my dad watching it, and I literally thought it was a, <laughs> like, Legends of Tomorrow, like, crappy TV show. Because it was the scene where Diana's talking to Cyborg, and he's wearing, like, his hoodie outside. Oh, yeah. And, like, he's entirely CGI. And, like, the set looks like it's literally a set on, like, a TV show. And then it cuts... Was it Iranian, too? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. (laughs) But then it cuts to, like, Steppenwolf. And there's, like, all, like, the bug things crawling on the walls. And I'm like, this shot is 100% CGI. There is not a person in this. This is a video game cutscene. And it looked bad. And I couldn't even watch the movie. And my dad, he rented it. And he's like... Oh, you know, with uh, because we rent movies on our service and we can watch them for twenty or forty eight hours. He's like, "Oh, you and Adrian can watch Justice League after," and I'm like, "No, no, that's I don't okay." Even watch that again. It I could I couldn't understand how people could defend it after watching that because that little snippet. I'm like, this looks worse than Iron Man one. 
Oh yeah, it does. Like it's so bad. Like I watched some clips like when the Blu-ray came out and they upload some clips to YouTube and of like wow this looks really bad. It looks so bad. <laughs> Have you like did you watch the final like fight? It's even no, worse. No, I couldn't even get past that scene. <laughs> like C- Cyborg's face is CGI. Yeah. Like not even like the human aspect. <laughs> it's CGI too. And like there's, there's there's no skin texture. There's no like it looks like a PS2 model, and I'm like, this is really bad. And you see like Tony Stark with his bleeding edge armor, and it looks completely oh, natural. Oh yeah, it looks that like I don't know, man. DC, I've always hated you, but you're making it real easy to keep on hating you. <laughs> There's one more snippet in the Infinity War trailer where uh, Thanos says, "I hope they remember you," and someone tr- uh, saw in like a different language that "you" is plural. Yeah. So he might be talking to like the, all of the Avengers. Yeah, like, I think before so. He kills yeah, them all. no, I don't think he's saying that to one person because yeah, he's using the plural you. Yeah. Man, the English language is wonderful for that. It is. Um. All right. Well, we're gonna take a quick break here, and uh, when we come, a... yeah, that was we we had a lot to talk about for news, and yeah. we have more coming up. With we're gonna talk about the big Monster Hunter update and uh, all that comes with it. So we'll be back after that. After the break. Ciao.
All right, and we're <laughs> back. Uh, before before we continue on to the main story, I just remembered something that we need to talk about because it might be the single worst thing that has ever been. It's Ready Player One. Okay, <laughs> let, let me. Okay, so there was a leaked list of characters who appear in Ready Player One. Now, we're not confirmed if this is 100% real, but we know for sure like a lot of it lines up with stuff we saw in trailers and stuff. So I'm going to go into some of the characters that are seen in it, and you're going to give me your reactions. We're not doing it all, because we'd be here forever. Um, so, let's start with like a Pac-Man appears. Uh, cherries are on a sticker on someone's visor. Miss Pac-Man stickers are on stuff. Uh, Pac-Man appears in the movie. Uh, Ryu from Street Fighter is seen walking around on the Oasis racetrack, which is in the movie. You see it in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's weird. It's a Street Fighter 5 model. Uh, Blanca is seen in the Oasis nightclub. Chun-Li and Sagat are seen in the crowd. Uh, we got Duke Nukem is one of the civilians that appears in a PvP fight. Laura Croft also. You have characters from Battleborn. <laughs> what? L Dragon, Toby, and Ambra. Atticus, Benedict, and Miko from Battleborn all appear in the movie. Mass Effect. Male and female versions of Shepard appear in the final battle. Overwatch. Tracer. You've seen her in there. Is seen in the final battle. Mercy can also be seen in the final battle. In the Oasis Mall, an Overwatch uh, stall can be seen. Doomfist and Soldier 76 are what? seen walking around in the Oasis. Widowmaker May, Hanzo, and Sombra are all are seen destroying a 101 spider. Angry Birds. What? Red and Bomb are seen flying into battle in the Oasis. The giant, the Iron Giant uses the slingshot from Angry Birds to launch the main character during the final battle. Mortal Kombat. Raiden, Casey Cage, Katana, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Johnny Cage, Liu Kang. Halo, a bunch of Spartans. Devil May Cry, Dante appears. <laughs> Captain Commando appears in the final battle. Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf appear in the final battle. Metroid, Samus is seen in the crowd of Oasis citizens during the final battle, as well as in the dance club. <laughs> Cloud Strife appears. Bayonetta appears in the final <laughs> battle. We have to see it now. Mega Man appears. Mario, riding Yoshi, and Bowser are seen during the final battle. Luigi is seen riding his cart at the Oasis racetrack. Also, uh, Ek mentions Mario Kart while talking to Wade. Minecraft. <laughs> Hero Brine and a Creeper are briefly seen during the final battle. Sonic the Hedgehog. The titular hedgehog is seen during the final battle and can be briefly seen waiting in line. That's we see in a trailer. He's there. Uh, Knuckles is also seen at the nightclub. <laughs> Fire Emblem. Marth and Ike are seen in the final battle. Corin can be seen entering what? a P PvP uh, portal in the Oasis. Skylanders. There's a bunch of Skylanders. Kirby can be seen during the final battle. Pokemon. <laughs> so the main character's name is Parzival, by the way. This sentence, this sentence is the most cursed thing I've ever read. Parvazal is seen throwing a Pokeball at the Batmobile during the race. <laughs> Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine <laughs> Resident Evil. Donkey Kong can be seen on a poster in a girl's room. Fox McCloud in an R-Wing is seen during the final battle. Morgan and Jeddah from Darkstalkers appear in the final battle. Solid Snake can be seen in the nightclub. Here's where we get to the stuff that kind of is the worst. Captain Falcon is seen getting into the Blue Falcon on the racetrack. Olimar can be seen in the nightclub. Pit and Palutena what? can be seen during the final battle. Ness is seen fighting a Sixer during the final battle. Little Mac is in the final what? battle. Shulk is in the final what? battle. <laughs> Nightmare Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's is in the final battle. Shovel Knight is in the final <laughs> battle. 
Monkey Ball, Knights, Splatoon, Portal, Ghosts and Goblins, Final Fight, Strider, Dead Rising, Soul Calibur, Dino Crisis, Okami, Fatal Fury, Crazy Taxi, Dark Souls, The Mushroom Parent and Mushroom Child, the most popular characters, of course, Gears of War, <laughs> Borderlands, Left 4 Dead, Dead Space Fallout, Little Big Planet, Sackboy appears during the final battle, and that's just the video games, we haven't got to the movies. The Iron what? Giant, Back to the Future, Acura, Chappie, King Kong, Mad Max, Nightmare on Elm Street, Conan the Barbarian, Aliens, Back Batman, Christine, Army of Darkness, S- Superman, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Rock and Raccoon or Groot are seen in the nightclub, the Winter Soldier seen taking out a scorpion. <sighs> Child's Play, Say Anything, Hellboy, Watchmen, Spawn, The Seventh Adventure of Sinbad, that's a super old, like, 40s movie. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, Transformers, Optimus Pine, Bumblebee, and Nitro Zeus, Megatron is Sentinel Prime, Onslaught, Star Wars, Classic Gods, like, Holy crap. <laughs> this is the worst. Steppenwolf. This Steppenwolf appears, of course. Enchantress from Suicide Squad. Godzilla. Sponge. The SpongeBob movie. <laughs> Plankton appears during the final battle. In the same final battle as Shulk <laughs> from Xenoblade. I kind of want to see this movie now. Like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2010 films. Real Steel, Wizard of Oz, Saturday Night Fever. Toy Story, Sharknado. I hate this. I hate everything about this. How many characters are in this final battle? Jesus. This is the worst thing ever. Zootopia, The Goonies, Wreck-It Ralph, comics and literature, DC Comics. Look. Okay, we don't need to. Marvel, like, 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 it's literally Harry Potter. Garfield? Garfield. Garfield. Scott Pilgrim. You know, like, like. Hello Kitty, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, Laser Tag, Nerf, Game Boy, like, okay, now we're getting into TV shows. Simpsons, Family Guy, Brian Griffin is seen in it. This is the one that gets me. <laughs> Digimon, Ty and Agumon are seen in the nightclub. They're kids. Speed Racer, Fairly Odd Parents, Cosmo is seen during the final battle. Like, this is, fin- Perry the Platypus is mentioned <laughs> by a character. It goes on and Ghost Rider. Uh, he's under Agents of Shield for some reason. The Walking Dead. What? Negan is seen during the final battle. Huh. It is the worst thing I've ever seen, <laughs> and it's like it's, we should go see this movie. Honestly, I and so people as are, a meme. So so now you get one. I po- wrote, wrote the tweet about this is some kids horrible smash hack where he just installed all the crappy stuff and he's like look at it look point and laugh point point and say i recognize this i hate everything about it ready player one is going to be the worst thing ever what if it's the best thing ever? it's not going to be there's no plot it looks like it's just cameos i hate it i hate it so much oh and by the way the story it's based on is that it's just a guy saying stuff (laughs) <laughs> like have you read an excerpt of it i have yeah where it's just like oh i'm like this character and this character and this character i like to do this like this character and also like this character i've seen all the cool tv shows like this tv show and this tv i i hate ready player one so much and it's not even out yet and we're so here's here's the thing we're gonna see it <sighs> we're gonna see it dude come on <sighs> I have movie tickets, fine. Yes. <laughs> but it's like, it's like, I look at it and it's like, it just feels like people are going to, and it's going to do well because people will, will clap their hands and say, I recognize that. <laughs> like, that's it. Right? Like, oh, so let's move on from something that sucks and is going to be the worst thing ever and will kill video game movies forever to something that is uh, actually awesome. So, uh, Monster Hunter got a big update recently. Uh, it's well, going it's, to it's get going it. to get a big update, but there was a, a basically a direct, pretty much. Uh, well, it was in Japan, and then a couple hours later, uh, America did a a redone. Like, here we're going to talk about it, and you know, give it, give it, give the the info to you. Uh, so, big thing, Devil Joe's being added. He looks terrifying. He looks terrifying. He can apparently pick up all low tier monsters. And use them as weapons, literally using you like a club. So that's terrifying. Um, he also, but he brings to the table uh, quite a bit, actually. Number one, uh, he will have not only quests dedicated to fighting him, 
Uh, he brings a turf war for for basil yeah. juice, uh, basil, basil goose, juice, whatever B fifty two bomber. Um, because he doesn't have one in the game because yeah. he doesn't have a turf, but because they're similar, they have a turf war and it's really cool. It does about a thousand damage to both of them. It's yeah, a mutual I, I saw one. It. it looks cool. I saw the gameplay. Um, he not only appears in a quest, but will appear as a roaming monster as he can come into your world at any time. Just like Basil Geese, which is good. And both can um, come. Both can come. Yep. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> he actually does bring along uh, 14 weapons. So one for each weapon type, which is crazy because most monsters don't give one for every weapon. They usually have about half of them. Uh, so they did design some new weapons for him. So there's one for every type. They look really cool. Um, he brings two armors, uh, one kind of classic looking alpha armor and one slightly different uh, beta armor. So again, alpha having more skills, beta having less skills, but more slots. So you can kind of do what you want with them. Uh, the other stuff that they're adding in is they're cutting down on the online griefing. So before... What does that mean exactly? So for instance, uh, if you were... So you beat the monster. Yeah, you beat him. You go over to carve and someone keeps oh, that... shooting you or someone keeps hitting you and you keep tripping. And you can't get your carves. That sucks. So, they're now making it so after the monster is dead, you cannot interact with uh, characters. That's good. It's good, but I will miss using my uppercut with my switch axe to launch people around at the that's, end. That's at the end, though. That is Well, that's what it means. After yeah. the monster's dead, but no one else matter. can. Yeah, but it's fun to play golf when you're waiting for the timer. <laughs> um, but no, all, overall, this is like a really good feature and one a lot of people are asking for, which is good. Um, cause I've never encountered an online griefer, but there are people who go online and prevent everyone from getting carves, which is stupid. Uh, don't be like that. Probably an American. Japanese players have too much dignity. Yeah. And the, uh, well, it might be a French player too. The French <laughs> players were pretty bad. They would, uh, they would all use insect glaives and uh, take a drink. I'm waiting. There you go. Uh, they would use insect glaives, and then every single time, they would all try to do mounting attacks on the monster, <laughs> and all you'd see is a text box be full of, Je suis monté! Je suis monté! <laughs> <laughs> and it's so bad. Um, so yeah, that that's a monster in a meme. But um, they're also adding in another option. You know when you can click the stick to return to HQ or return to camp? There's now return to gathering hub. Nice. Which, so if you're doing quests with a friend, you can go right back to the gathering hub and there you have your food. There you have a small shop. There you can do everything in one location. So that's really nice. Um, uh, they're adding in the ability to redo characters. Which is already out. Yes. yes. Uh, you, so you get, well, what's out is the free ticket for it. So you can yeah. use that free ticket, get a makeover. You can change your gender. You can change everything except your name. Okay. Or your Palico. Uh, everything else can be totally re redone. Uh, the first one's free. After that, it's going to be paid. Okay. We don't know how much, and that'll be coming later. Are you going to change anything? No. no. I'm going to get I'm gonna get my voucher, but I'm not going to use it um, because I made my character perfect. <laughs> Some people made crappy characters, and like, what can I say? You had the chance. Fair enough. But, um, yeah, so that's good. People are asking for that. And I feel like people saying, oh, it's in the game. Why are you making this charge for it? And it's like, because it's a service in an online game. The fact that it's in there to begin with is amazing because most online games make it so that once your character is set, you are set. Yeah. Right? So shut up. Um, <laughs> one, the big thing that we're getting is the spring hub for the hunting hall. Yeah. Uh, gathering hall rather. Uh, so that's going to be really cool. It looks, it has a big poogie there. Uh, there's special food that you can only get that will, uh, during that time where you'll get special buffs. Um, the big news though, is that, well, I mean, okay. The other small thing is you will get, uh, two lucky vouchers a day. Yeah. But the big thing is that every single event quest will be available to play. That's how that's available available that's to play. Be, that's going to be neat. That's going to be good. So if you missed anything, you can grab it. Um, there is a Japanese only quest. That I hope that I'm able to get in on. What is that? Um, Japan has an exclusive event quest called the Universal Studios Quest, where you have to hunt two tiny Jagrises. Um, and then when you beat it, you get parts to craft Universal Studios gear. It's oh, okay. not good gear, but it's Japan exclusive right now. Um, so you can search for it by going uh, by going in the SOS search and you go. Um, Search for event quest, low rank, and um, great Jagras, and you say any language, and then you can find them online, but you just can't get them in your book yourself. So that oh, kind of okay. sucks. But that's the only way to get that quest, so I'm hoping to get that, get those cool 
cool armor and stuff. Uh, it's kind of like a like it's all blue and gold. It looks like the Universal Studios logo. Mm-hmm. So it's exclusive for now. But that's that's about it. Um, I heard that the handler is getting a costume as well. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, she's getting an exclusive costume. Oh, that makes sense. Um, also, I oh the um guild girls are also going to. So that's good. Thank you. Um, you, there's an option to turn to revert her costume. Well, to it, normal too. Well, I mean, it's like because I bought the DLC costume for her. So probably just be done in the same way. Yeah, probably. Uh, where you just go to your cat and there's the adds an option at the bottom, change handler's outfit. Yeah. So, so it's just the gathering hub that's getting just the modeled. gathering hub. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, they're not. There might be a bit of stuff in Astera, but it's mostly the gathering hub. Okay. Like that's the one getting the big re- redo for that. So, cool. uh, so that's cool. I'm, I'm hoping for more. Oh, there is one more thing that I forgot. They're adding in another armor. Yeah. Um. So in previous games, there was a type of armor. That you got by getting certain parts and it looks like it was like a butterfly looking armor. So for girls, it looks like almost like a maid outfit made of like butterfly parts. Yeah. But for guys, it's like a tuxedo top hat and like oh, it's cool. really spe- like sp- spizzy looking like good stuff. Um, they showed off a screenshot and that armor's in it. Now that armor's not in the game. So that means they're probably ad- going to be adding in because there's a couple of non-monster related sets that have been in a lot of monster hunter games like there's a like a halloween looking one made of like pumpkins and you look like a witch or like a kind of like a, a black mage wizard sort of thing mm-hmm. uh, for for male um so that, that they're thinking they're going to save that for the halloween one that will that'll be there oh, so be so yeah they're going to be adding in some other armor sets so th- i mean it's it's very much just cosmetic it's not one that you're going to be using much competitively um but it's it's still cool cuz like this set looks cool um speaking of set that looks really cool Dante! Dante. You, I have seen the trailer. It looks so good. Um, so the cool thing about the Dante set, though, is it's not a Ryu or Alloy style full body swap. They are individual parts. Yeah. So you'll be able to put them on. You'll be able to recolor them. You'll be able to, um, you know, mix and match with other stuff. So that's really cool. Um, the Dante weapon is the coolest thing ever. Because a lot of people thought, okay, they're going to give us Dante's sword. And it's going to be either, uh, you know, a great sword or a long sword. But no. Did you see what his weapon is? No. It's a charge blade. Really? So normally the charge blade has the sword and shield, right? Yeah. And you use the sword and then you power it up. You put it into like an axe mode, right? Yeah. So what it is, it's just Dante's regular sword. And instead he has on his arm for the shield, um, one of his like devil runes spinning around. So you block with the devil rune instead. <laughs> but here's the cool thing. For its alternate mode... You use it and you go like this and normally you, you stick them together and it becomes the axe, right? Instead, he waves his arm over it and it becomes his better sword from the end of oh. the game. So it's literally, it's Force Edge and then he goes into Alistair, which is his sword. And then it becomes a bigger version of his sword from the game, right? Huh. So you literally have to, you start off with his regular sword and then it turns into Alistair and it looks so cool. Um, so that's a really cool way of handling that. Um, he's getting an emote as well. Did you see it in the trailer where he oh, yeah. takes out guns and yeah. spins around? <laughs> oh, it's so dumb looking, but it's like, like just you're hunting and then this dude, t- like, cause you could use it without the, like, without the armor. Yeah. So you're just hunting and then the dude <laughs> takes out guns. It's, it's going to be great. Um, that armor looks like it'll be a lot of fun to get. The event quests will probably be fighting either a Diablos or a Devil Joe because oh, yeah. like Devil May Yeah. Cry- yeah. Um, that's an awesome set. I was really hoping that'd be in. It's Devil May Cry 1 Dante, which is interesting. It's not the one from Devil May Cry 3, which is in, like, Marvel and stuff. It's uh, it's the one that's kind of a little more clothed. But oh, that's okay. okay. Um, I Heck, they might even do an alpha and beta version that makes it change slightly. Maybe. Yeah. The cool thing is, too, you'll be able to recolor it. So make it blue and you could be Virgil. Because yeah. then you use the long sword and that's like a katana. So there you go. Um... The other crossover piece we're getting right away, which we've seen before, is the Mega Man uh, Palico. It was a release date for it, too. April 14th. Yes. Yes, so that's going to be nice. Um, I do love how no matter... Whenever he's on screen, you can very clearly see him because he has that black outline. Yeah. Some people hate that. I love it. I love the fact that he's so garish that you can see him anywhere. <laughs> Yeah. Because this game has a lot of, like, one of the problems that people have said about this compared to other Monster Hunters is it's tough to see items on the ground. Yeah. Like, they really blend in because it's, you know, realistic. In the other game, the ground was like a crappy texture, and then items were a very clear object above it, right? Here, it's like a lot worse. So, I like that, and I'm definitely going to use that quite a bit. Um, and he can uh, shoot a Meg Buster as, instead yeah. of throwing a boomerang, which is a lot of fun. That's nice. Um, 
So those are the two crossovers that we know right now. There's going to be more later. There's uh. like, there's tons for these. And uh, as we'll get into later, they already have plans for the next set. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. But first off, uh, we have another big thing. Like this is probably actually for a lot of players. This is the biggest thing. There's getting the, all the weapons are getting some changes. Yep. Uh, they said it's balance changes, but I don't know if you can call them balance changes when almost every single one is a buff. <laughs> there is a single nerf. So let's talk about them right now. So the great sword, it's getting buffs on its damage for all charge slash abilities. So when you charge it up, when you have the weapon right behind you and it's one, two, three, do a level one, level two, level three, you're doing more damage. Nice. Oh, and I forgot about it. There's also the, um, this goes right in with the, um, award winning, the, um, design contest winner. Oh yeah, it is. So, uh, the, uh, the design contest winner, they put it out. Um, usually they do the, de- um, they've done design contests for every monster hunter since like try. And what it usually is, is okay. We're bringing this game to the West, but we can't use all the, the crossover gear. So, like, for example, there'll be a crossover gear from something that they can't get the rights to in North America. What do they do? They do a design contest, and then that design gets used with the same stats in place of that. Okay. So they would usually do it for that. But because it's kind of like a worldwide thing now, um, that's not a thing. So now it just was just a design contest. I think Japan's getting one too right away. But this one's really cool. It's like um, it's like it's a great sword with just a jet engine on the back. And as you charge it up for the swing, you see it building up power. And when you do a slash, it the rockets fire and you get like jet <laughs> propelled swipe. So that's really cool. Nice. Um, so that's really good for the great sword. Um, the long sword is getting improvements to force slight slash input timing. So that's the one where you kind of jump up and do a huge slash down. Um, so it's getting input timing is going to get, be easier and better hitboxes. Right. So that's good. Yeah, make, that's make, good. Makes it hit more. Um, so the sword and shield is the round slash. That's kind of like the spinning slash attack. Uh, yeah. It's getting damage increased. Uh, so now you'll pretty much be doing like like it, a, a decent combo will be spin, dodge, spin, dodge, spin, dodge. Uh, but the improved slinger usability is really interesting. So the sword and shield is the only weapon that you can use items with while you have it, equi- well, while you have it out. You can okay. use items with it. That includes your slinger. Before though, you couldn't use wedge beetles with your weapon out. Oh. They're adding it so you can use wedge beetles now with your weapon drawn. Cool. So you'll be able to just mid mid combo wedge beetle up and then jump down and attack. Like do do crazy stuff like that. So that's really cool. Uh the dual blades are it's adding two more moves that you can use to keep the demon gauge active. So the demon gauge is basically if you attack with the the weapons, yeah. then you build up the gauge. Um and then once you have it going, uh you can like once it's 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 in the mode, if you attack, you still keep it up. So with adding like the two more basic attacks, do keep the meter up instead of not providing you any more meter. So they're oh, making okay. it easier to keep keep that up. So that's good. Um, the hammer, it's going to make it easier to stun monsters. That's with. good because a lot of people were noticing that unlike the previous games, uh, getting the monsters stunned by hitting them in the head in multiplayer in single player wasn't bad but in multiplayer it's really tough to get it going unless you have more than one hammer user so they're making it so now it's going to be way more reliable to get stunned monsters with a hammer by hitting them in the head That's good, over when, and over when i knock them down yeah i can just i always like try to hit them in the head use the big bang attack yeah. where it's like boom that attack is so brutal <laughs> um the hunting horn Uh, One update that's not actually on this list, but basically it's getting, like, most of it's getting an attack power increase. But the other thing is that now it's making it so that, um, so every hunting horn has a basic, um, basic buff for you only. Most of the hunting horn things are for everyone. But there's a thing called um, self-improvement, which is just hit with the two basic attacks. Yeah. And if you play that, what it used to do is you'd play it once and you get movement speed up. You play it a second time and you'd stop getting deflections. It would it would make it so that your hits will always go through monsters and never deflect. Okay. So you'd have to do it twice. Now it's giving you instead a uh, speed up and a small attack up no matter when you play the note. So, okay. like, it will always give you attack up and all that at once, um, making it a lot easier to make sure that you're strong at the same time. So, that's good. Uh, the lance is making counters easier by what it used to be is if you do the counter attack with the lance. So, you put up you put up the shield, monster would hit you, you get a small chance to press buttons and do a huge counter, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, with the super guard and stuff. But... 
the actual attack, if a monster was still hitting you, like if it was, say, running at you and you did that, you'd get hit out of that attack. Now it's making it so that when you put up that shield for that super attack and you counter, you are invincible during the attack until it's done. Nice. So you, that's, like, that's really like these, these counters will no, like, they're safe now. They're no longer unsafe until the end of the monster's animation. They are safe now, and that's really good. Uh, the gun lance is making it so you lose less sharpness for shelling, so that's when you blow up the end of the tip of the lance, and it goes boom and yeah. fires a shot. Um, and just some attack increases, so that's good. Oh, this one's really good for me. I love my switch axe. Uh, so switch axe has a thing called the zero sum discharge. That's when you power up. So you use this axe mode and you power it up. You can switch to sword mode, use the sword mode and that powers up a second meter. And then you can press the two buttons and you'll grab onto the monster and you're in like a kind of a sort of like a, um, mounted state, but it's kind of different, but then you'll shove the weapon into them and it'll explode. Yeah. Right. So it's doing a bit of a change. Number one. It's no longer making it so that when you jump onto a monster, you have a level four earplugs. No matter how loud they roar, you will not be knocked off. Because you jump on and the monster would roar, roar and you'd be you'd fall off. Yeah, like it was so easy to fall off. They're making it so that not only do you have level four earplugs, but you're just you're you're. It's way easier to stay on there unless they do some crazy thing like start flying or slam you into the ground. Right. Oh, okay. Um. The other thing is that you will no longer lose, like when you'd use it before, you'd use it and you'd see your sharpness go boo, 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 boo. <laughs> like it plummeted, right? Um, but no longer will it do that. It will make it a lot way easier to keep your sharpness up, which okay. is good because Switch X loses sharpness very quickly. And and I think it's also buffing the zero sum discharge. Like that already does 200 damage if you hit like the final hit. So it's like uh, still really wow. good, but they're buffing it a bit more. The one that is getting nerfed is the charge blade because it is the best weapon in the game. You can do crazy damage with it. Um, it just says balance adjustments, but then on the North American stream, they're like, yeah, this is the one that we needed to tone down a bit. Um, other than that, it's still really good. So it just does less damage? Uh, l l yeah, the impact file and the power element file just would do less damage. So that's that's a little little easier to do. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's like that. Um, uh, he's touching my Wii remote, um, the, 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 the wrist strap and it's unbalanced and I don't care. Um, the insect glaive is making it so that when you, um, extract a power element from a monster, you know how the insect glaive worked? Did I talk to you about it? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you get, you get the extracts from it and it gives you buffs. Yeah. Um, the attack power gives you more attack now and they, uh, last longer. So they no longer, oh, nice. they're like, instead That's of 30 good. seconds, I think they last like. 45 or something which okay. is a, it's a small addition but hey that it adds up yeah um the bow just got bug fixes there was a weird bug where if you did the dragon piercer so that's where you scrape the ground and then you have the shh, yeah. psh, um it now there was a thing where if a monster was behind you you could do a weird button input and your hunter would flip entirely like 180 degrees backwards huh. like it was not intended <laughs> and they said yeah that that should not be like that uh so that's being fixed um and the bow guns already had their balance patch before this where they changed the um slicing shots to be less trippy and less powerful uh buffed every other shot so okay. they are got nerfs bef or buffs before so they didn't get any here because they were they were the first ones to get it so that's a lot that is a lot. But it's pretty much everything is getting improvements except for Charge Blade, and even then it's not even getting much of a, and that's a all, change. that's all going live on the Devil Joe update, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it's part of the big update because it's, it's it's called the title update because it's like it's going up to, I think, like 2.0 or something. Like, oh, okay. It's the big update that's starting with. Um, so that's really good. Um, there's a lot there. Uh, and like, I heard some people saying that there, there wasn't as much as they expected, but I think that's still a really good update for all the stuff that's oh, coming sure. with it. Like, um, on top of like everything else. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then the next update they said is going to be in April. So we might be looking at monthly stuff. As big as this or? Probably not as big as this every Just month, like but it, it'll probably be, I could definitely see like another monster being added. Are they going to be adding, like, new monsters, or are they going to bring bringing back old ones? So, there was a leaked list of monsters uh, before this game came out, including some on there that were, like, names that were, like, that's a weird name, like, Odogaron <laughs> and uh, Val Hazak. Like, what are these things? And the final boss's name. So, there's monsters on there that aren't in the game yet. 
Okay. Some of them. Okay, I know I'm going to say pretty much all of them are going to be like the ones that aren't in the game are going to be DLC. There's no way they're not. Um, there's actually there are some monsters on there though that have new names that aren't in the game yet. Okay, so there will. So be... there will. So there, there's, there's, there's. There'll be a mix of old and new. Yeah, there's. Okay. I'm just. So there's one that didn't have a name, but it had a descriptor that sounds really interesting, and I do want to tell you what it is because it's like, it's a, it's a good teaser. It's called. They said it is a treasure dragon. So huh. we'll have to see what that is because that sounds really interesting. Yeah, it does. Um, the other monsters that were included, a lot of them are the, uh, the flag mo- flagship monsters, so the cover monsters. So as 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 you found like for from me for you. Not from for you, from okay. before that. Yeah, no, the, the for you ones only work in in. No wait, for yeah, for you yes generations no. Okay. Yeah, for you yes. Um, but you know you got me uh the Zenogre. So uh his I will say his name was on it because why else would they make merchandise for Monster Hunter World for him? Yeah. Um, he's one of my favorite monsters, so I'm gonna be very happy to have him back. Cool. Um, there's also um other versions of monsters that are already in the game. So as in like you know how there's um, Rathian and Pink Rathian. Did you get the Pink Rathian? No. Okay. Well, slight spoilers. There's 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 a Rathian subspecies that is a stronger version of Rathian. Okay. There are monsters on that list that are similar subspecies types that uh, will they do kind of change how they play, but for the most part they're like recolors with totally different equipment though. Um, so that's, that's going to be interesting for some of the ones that are in there. There's already one on there that, uh, people are dreading to fight. So that's going to be fun. Um, because... More than Devil Joe? Yes. Huh. Um, because the monster that's already in the game is, people argue, is the most annoying one to fight. Here's a hint. You've already fought it. Devil, uh... The devil one? Nope. Nope. Um, Think about who probably one of the toughest monsters you get to fight so far is. What wasn't that the not Devil Joe, but the other one in the sand? No. That was I thought that's what you said. It was the hardest one. Arathalos? No, no, no. Think about the ones you fought. I have. Think about the one that you got to and you're like, I don't think I can beat this. Here's a hint. Thunder. Oh. So, yes. That little shit. Kieran is, uh, people argue, uh, high rank, well, low rank Kieran, not too bad. High rank Kieran, it's Thunderbolts can one shot you. Oh, Jesus. There is a subspecies of it that is more powerful. Why? So, yeah, people are like, I don't want to... F- that, that's not really a spoiler, because, like, that's a... That is a monster that's been in since, you know, the beginning. But it's like, people are like, why? Oh, no. So, uh, that's going to be fun. It's called, like, uh, or- Oroshi Kirin or something. So, it's like... It's like black, and there's, like, spikes coming out of it. So, like, it, it looks horrible. Um... So that's gonna be fun. Though that said, if you have the thunderproof mantle, it makes that fight way easier. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Who? Um, you know there's gonna be more invading monsters in the future. I don't think there'll be more invading monsters. Devil Joe was the o- um no, there was one in there was one in the original Monster Hunter that was not Devil Joe. Before Devil Joe, it was oh I don't even remember who it was. There was one before him. But it was not Devil Joe style or Basil Goose style. Like, it wasn't a huge terrifying threat. He was just an annoyance. But, um, no, I think Devil Joe and Basil Goose are going to be the the main invader monsters. The other ones are probably going to be in the pre-existing ecosystems. Or, because if you look in-game, uh, you know the map that we have? That's about half the map. Oh, jeez. Like, if you, look, if you look on the walls... In the first cabin, you can see the map of the of the area that when you press the button to go to the expeditions, yeah. uh, you can see that map. That is half the continent that you're on. Oh. So people think that they are going to add in um, more zones too. That'd be a big Because update. there's no... Yeah. You think yeah, that'd be sure. paid? It could be, for sure. Okay. It could be a G-rank paid update, for sure. Um, but there's no ice area in the game at all. Period. There's always been a nice ice area. Ice areas are fun. I played it... Them in the generations are for yeah no really yeah fun. no they're 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 fun in those games so that'll be fun um 
But, uh, because there's, like, no, there's very few ice and water monsters in the game. Uh, the only ice ones are Legiana and (laughs) technically Kushala Daora, but not even really. He's more wind element, which isn't even really an element, but yeah. So, um, and then, like, for water, you have Geratidos and... (laughs) That's it? That's it, really. Um, That'd be cool to, like... Kind of Varith, if you count mud a bit, but not, not really. really. Um, so, be yeah. Be cool to see, like, a burst of those, like, kind of element monsters. Yeah, so, like, there's a lot of fire, of course. There always is. There's, you know, a lot of dragon. There's a lot of... Um, even electricity, there's a decent number of. But it's like, yeah, so those two elements are greatly underused. So people are thinking, like, the one thing that they, they're, like, what's going to happen is... You know when you fight Zora Megdoros and it ends with him going into the ocean and blowing up? So that's going to be, they think, he's going to blow up. That's going to make a section of land in the ocean. Because oh, okay. when magma explodes in the ocean, it creates an island. That's what volcanoes do. Yeah. Um, they think that's going to make a new place for you to go to. Um, they also think that, if you look at the map, you can see like there is a big icy mountain to the to the, uh, to the the right mm-hmm. of the map there. So they're like, that's Probably. where it might be. Um and then they could add one more. Um, they could they could even add. They might add in one legacy zone because they usually do that. They'll add in one zone that's like been in a previous game. Mm. I could see it being the island from um, Monster Hunter Three because that would kind of work as an open world one. But uh, we'll have to see what they do. We'll have to see. Um, there's you know this is definitely. I mean, it's Capcom's best selling game ever. Like they will support this for a long time. <laughs> yeah, they will. And I'm I'm a hundred percent sure they are working on localizing. Uh, generations for switch because like right now that would just print money with monster hunters hype at its maximum and the switch selling so much yeah it would make too much it's like a no-brainer yeah for sure um and they'll just say hey you want to play monster hunter world see where it all began with monster hunter generations for nintendo switch like that's what's just gonna be um all right is there anything you want to see for monster hunter as a newbie or... throw it out there collaborations Monster ideas, whatever. I just want to see what they can do with... Like, I want to see more unique monsters. More unique ones, okay. Yeah, like stuff that like just doesn't bite you. Okay. So yeah, actually that's that's one thing people say. They, they say that a lot of the monsters in World right now are very... Like they're, there's a, they're, they're set into their types. Like you have the bird wyverns, you have the, the wyverns and you, you know, you got, you got the ones that are, they're like what they're like. Like yeah. they're all like, you can see the, which ones scare, share skeletons. That's and why stuff. I like, um, the bird one so well, so much. Yeah. Because he has like the rock and. Yep. So, unique way um, of I will say like some of the leaked ones there are very unique, but, uh, I, yeah, we won't see some of the crazy unique ones. I think they said you're not going to see any, um, big bug monsters because getting those to work on the 3ds was like a challenge but getting them done in hd is like near impossible they said because just the amount of how they move is so different um which is a bit of a shame because some of the best fights uh in like generations was like um queen celtis which was a big bug that used like a smaller bug on top of it as Mm -hmm. a weapon that was really cool um Nursilla. That's one that a lot of people want, uh, and I could see coming back. It was a big spider. It was a big spider that would... Fun fun fight. Yeah, and it would, like, climb up on walls and stuff, and it would shoot web and kind of spin around. Like, it was a cool fight. I had really good armor that looked like Captain Falcon, so that was kind of dope. Um, but, uh, yeah, no. Um, I want to see more collaborations for sure. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a lot of fun. Uh, I think the Dante one, I mean, that's an in-company one, so that's an easy one. So I'd like to see, you know, a lot of those. Go see, like, a Metal Gear collab. You know that happened, right? Did it? Yeah. There's literally, you could get, for the PSP ones, you could get, you could be Solid Snake if you're a male, or you could be the boss if you were a girl. Huh, that's cool. And, like, yeah, it was, like, it was a full body set that would make you look exactly like, like, the boss. That's cool. And, and the big boss. Huh. So yeah, no, that that totally happened. Um, that was because remember Peace Walker had the yeah. the, the monster hunter. Oh stuff, yeah, so yeah, it went yeah, the yeah. other way around. Um, I want to see more areas like we talked about. Yeah, no more areas for sure. Um, it's a good game. It That's is. a good game. Yeah. Um, and even if I stop playing, like I stopped playing for a bit there to play other stuff, but like I hopped back in and I was like, it's like riding a bike. Like it's yeah. it's it's definitely a game that like. 
you can hop back into and i think i think you could even like yeah there's a lot of quality of life changes that would make it hard to go back but you could totally go back and play older ones and like your skills would transfer to a point like yeah you won't be able to do some of the crazy stuff but you'll definitely be able to play it mm -hmm. and enjoy it and you'll know month like monster patterns are very similar from the old ones to new ones that's why when i when we fought rathalos for the first time you're freaking out i'm like Dude, I've been fighting Rathalos forever. That's when we saw it for the first time. Because I'm, I'm just like, whatever. I know exactly all of his tells. Like, they're the same. He does a it tail. Just, it, he that wiggles moment his was very tail. Uh, cinematic. Yeah, and he, but he, wigg he wiggles his tail. He's going to do a tail flip. You know, he, he moves his leg. He's going to charge. You know, he, 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 he puts up his neck. He's going to breathe fire. I know how he <laughs> works. So, yeah, and that's how it is. Like, you, you see these monsters and you, you learn them for sure. So. Maybe, you, maybe new hub area. No, that's not going to no. happen. Uh, well, other G-Rank... Okay. Other G... Like, the G-Rank updates uh, have added in other hub areas that just re kind of... Like, once you hit G-Rank, you go to another area. Yeah. So, uh, like, you could go back and do old quests in the old area, but then this, you go... Maybe unlock this hub world when you get to G-Rank. Yeah. That yeah. could happen. That could happen. Um, we'll have to see. Um, we'll... We still don't know how they're gonna pull off G. -rank. They're gonna they're gonna find a way to pull off G rank, <laughs> but uh, that'll probably be after a year uh, because they have a year of updates planned. They said so. Uh, we'll have to see. We will. I'm looking forward to whatever else comes. I mean, even though I'm like done the story, I'm like not even close to being <laughs> like oh my god. Once you finish the story, it's like, like I immediately unlock the next like key quests to level up my hunter rank even more and i'm like i am nowhere near close to being able to do that because it's asking me to fight a type of monster i've never fought before not species of monster i'm talking type of oh, monster okay. as in a whole classification Jesus. of monsters that you fight in the late game and i'm like i haven't even fought one of those yet so i'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to definitely try and slowly build up my rank. I still need to finish my armor set. What are you rocking right now? Oh, I haven't turned it on in a while. Um, yeah, I can't tell you. Okay. What weapon are you playing right hammer. now? Hammer. Hammer still? Okay. Yeah. Do, you, do you have a cool hammer or is it more of a basic hammer right now? It's. I think I'm just using the uh, like high level basic ones now. Okay. Oh, right. Because you just hit high rank. Right. So you, yeah. would, you wouldn't really know. Yeah, no, I definitely recommend... Um, just going through and finding a low rank monster you're okay with farming a bit in a high rank, like a low level high yeah. rank monster and fighting it to get a whole set because you want to get that early, that early set going okay. uh, so that you can, you can be good to go. Cause yeah, like the first thing you're going to fight is pretty much going to be like really tough unless you I've have unlocked a full that set. monster. I've, uh, I've leveled it up. Oh, yeah. To where I can find it now, so... Okay, yeah, don't fight that thing until you have a full set of decent high rank armor. Okay. Um, I would even recommend just fighting Zora Magdaros over and over. Just find people online fighting him. Do that. I mean, it's boring, but once you get it, you have a really good armor set. You know, it lasts you till pretty much up to you, you fight Nergigante, so... Okay. So, yeah. All right. All right. I think we're about done here. So, um, we're going to be going on a bit of a break yes, next week. Yes, right. Yes, I forgot. Um, <laughs> I'm going to Montana, mm -hmm. which I was really excited to go look at, like, American stores that I've heard about. You know, Trader Joe's, Waffle House, you know, all those really cool in and out I've heard so much about these places. I'm like, I'm so excited. I look them up. The nearest ones are in Vancouver. <laughs> it would be easier for me to go back up to Canada to get those places. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not good. Um, but uh, I'm probably going to just be playing mostly Switch games there. Um, yeah, because my, my, my family wants to go skiing. And I'm like, I don't ski anymore. Uh, my, my mom wants to go golfing. And I'm like, I think it's a little cold to golf. But whatever. <laughs> um, so it's mostly going to be us chilling out there. So uh, there'll be... I'm going to get as many videos as I can done in that time. And I'm probably going to bring my laptop with me. Just so I have something in case I have to do something quickly i can but yeah. uh, for the most part yeah uh we'll be going on break there so there uh, won't be an episode next sunday no nope. month sunday monday and then uh i'll be back like saturday but so after then... that there's gonna be a lot to talk about yes for yeah, sure so probably. um if you could keep notes that'd be nice sure <laughs> but uh yeah thank you all for listening yeah and to... see you in talk to you listen to us there you go in two weeks two weeks so yep we'll see you then Ciao. Bye.